Jeez, the new Margaritaville is, we spoke about it last oh. episode. The new Margaritaville is pretty amazing. Really? <laughs> Have you been already? Yeah, I went with my grad one. school class. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm a day one. Yeah, they opened and I was camped outside. <laughs> oh. Ready for Margaritaville. Like the next Harry Potter book release? You're like, the new Margaritaville is opening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's going for the iPhone 12. Not Everyone me. just <laughs> assumes you don't have a home because it's New York. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're like, whoa, we can make you a home at Margaritaville. <laughs> when you're here, you're at home. Yeah. <laughs> I went with like 31 people because it was like right after my semester ended. Oh, oh okay. With no reservation. Yeah. Which is not allowed. Like, it's really not okay to do, walk into a restaurant and do that. But we yeah. went in. We were like, there's 31 of us. Do you have a table? And they were like, we can always make room for you at Margaritaville. Those we were their words. too much. Wow. Yeah. It, oh, wow. That's almost, like, scary in how accommodating they are. Yeah. We yeah. will never not have a place for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like you shouldn't have a place for everyone. <laughs> not for thirty people at once. Yeah. This is certainly not. We yeah, it's almost t- talks. It's almost says a statement on their business model. If mm. they're like, you'll be fine. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter how many, but we can accommodate yeah. for sure. Also, I mean that rent is like it's the biggest place I've ever seen in New York. It's um, probably like ten floors of restaurants and bars, and then the rest oh, is damn. like hotel what? rooms. Yeah, it's nuts. So I don't know like what they charge in a for a giant Times Square 34 building. Lucas, maybe maybe you know. Yeah. What they charge for the, that kind of rent? Yeah, like yeah, that yeah. Space? What, what do you think? Uh, Why would Lucas know? Is because that, yeah. is he, <laughs> I was, you know I've watched he, enough Selling Sunset. I know what the real estate yeah, market is. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, for money? Uh, four dollars. Yeah, four yeah. dollars. About four dollars. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be. Well, I know nothing except one, except the sesh. Right. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm like, I literally walk around. I'm like, how are any of these open? Right. Mm. And you realize you're like, oh, most of them, they just lose a lot of money. Sure. Or most yeah. of these are just bad business. Like all the, you know, the vintage T-shirt shops in like the yeah. East Village and Lower East Side. Yes. Yeah. yeah they yeah, are yeah. all hemorrhaging large amounts of money. Goodness. Jesus Christ. How yeah. are they staying afloat? I don't know. I don't understand. Because it's like how Amazon, you know, how Amazon and Uber like lost money for forever. Mm-hmm. I think Uber still loses money. Ooh, I don't. I have no idea. I think they might still be a loss making, but they can still stay open because okay. businesses. It's different than an individual. Well, I, don't I know, know the thing about Amazon is they actually take a loss just so they can just so they can eradicate the market. Yes, like if exactly. you like if you do if you do elect you know like Amazon Basics for like yeah. cables and other sort oh, of. Oh, do I ever? Oh, you got your I pants. Literally are. have pants on from Amazon. But yeah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those well, don't look. Hey, those look fancier than Amazon Basics. I pants are gonna <laughs> go those out look of like business. Like Banana so Republic soon. Basics to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone says Banana Thank Republic you. like it's so insulting. I think Banana Republic is an amazing store. I got an Amazon I Basics know. co-host right here. Oh wow! That's so fuck, Lucas. Roasted, yeah, that Lucas. That's actually. In, <laughs> I know we like joke around a lot on this podcast, but it's you know what? I went too far. Okay. I'd like to apologize. Like it's to you. actually really wrong. You can call me the Kessler. The who? <laughs> <laughs> what is? What did you? What just... the, the Kessler for Jewish people? <gasps> oh, I was I was saying you could say that to me. Wait, Lucas, are oh, you? Oh, the Kessler. I was. You are happy. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were saying like a Yiddish word. <laughs> That's what I thought too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. A word that's Kaysler. Kaysler. <laughs> like I was like, why would I call you that? That sounds that sounds a little bit like a Jewish last name, like Dr. Murray Kaysler. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, it, to me, it sounded almost like a, uh, yeah, like a word. Like you can call me a Kaysler, or almost like a made-up nickname that you were just making up. Call me Kaysler. Hey, call me yeah. Kaysler. <laughs> <laughs> like, call me Rapadoob. Rapadoob. <laughs> hey. Ron, Ronsties. <laughs> If you want. My name is Jamie Rapadoob for long. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Rapadoob doob dee bop. We should introduce our guest speaking of. I think it's a good idea. Oh, you we just should also just like that? Oh, we've been going, baby. We've been going, baby. Oh, you setting up was recording it. Oh yeah. Wow, no, you see slick. I'm very slick. Remember like when very we did slick. the whole thing about canceling you? That was real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're unfortunately canceled, Jamie. You are for- yes. Everyone in the world has seen what you did. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we won't elaborate because but I want you to guess. <laughs> our listeners and viewers are gonna see a little bit more on this Two Nosy Meerkats Two podcast. Meerkats. Welcome. We have a wonderful comedian, someone uh, you and I have been fans of for a while, someone who was at the first ever open mic that I ever went to, who's made a big impression on me. Uh, co-host of Sesh Comedy in Lower Manhattan. Give a round of applause for your friend and mine, Jamie Wolf. Hey, hey. I'm very good. obsessed with you. It's true. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. I, that's really sweet. Oh yeah. We <laughs> talked about. You. I've no. I've. I've been. We've been friends for 
so a long time now. Yeah, we How have. Isn't that meet? crazy? That How did you guys meet? The same way. At, at the I, pit. At the, yeah. yeah, we met. We or met actually, at the no, because did we meet? Did we meet it at the pit? We did. I, well, well, I remember seeing you for the first time at I that mic at, at Live Laugh Mic, which was yeah. the first open mic I ever went to. But then I, I saw you again, like at least a couple times at the pit at yes. their mic. Yeah, yes. exactly. But that's definitely where we met. It's right? definitely where yeah. we met. I think it's kind of a nice thing to meet a friend at open mics because I think sometimes it's the kind of environment where you're listening to a lot of honestly like drivel. And then you mm. hear someone who like has interesting things to say. And you're like, thank God. It's just like a. I know. It becomes less of a like a salt on the senses at some point. Yeah. When yeah. someone actually has material. Well, it's not. Uh, yes, material totally, a hundred percent. Because it's also I've never been in a situation like that where it's like the you I see you go up on, on stage or you go up on stage at a mic and I'm like, oh, thank God, like you're saving me from like drowning. Do you know right, what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. At least, even if it's new material, so it's not that strong yet. It's like at least there's conscience thoughts yeah there's like thoughts that go into, into it, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah something yeah. has gone into like we're working stuff out exactly yeah yeah, yeah yeah and that's fun to watch too i mean as a comic i, I maybe an audience wouldn't love that but i love watching people that i like try new material that's like one of my I favorite things that yeah. that's what that's the best part about an open mic is that yeah you get yeah. to try but then you get if you're a comedy fan you get to watch new comedy being birthed exactly and it's, it, best bit. it's especially good when there's people you like because mm. sometimes it's people you don't like doing new stuff and that's like ah, i could do away with that but oh yeah if there's people you actually like you're like i'm excited to watch this oh yeah and yeah. seeing them hone a bit over time and yeah, seeing yeah. get more polished that's so exciting yeah it's so fun it's the best oh yeah. my god oh yeah I also, I don't know, I, I've been, I feel like we've been talking a lot about, like, the crowd that doesn't like open mic, the the new thing of, like, open mic suck, I, I only know. shows are okay. To, to, like, like, I'm sorry, if you don't like the process of something artistic, you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> like, why are you doing it? Yeah, exactly. This it, is why I was I about to say something dumb, like, I love cupcakes, but I hate ovens. I was like, and when I was but like, that no, that's the a logic. terrible, yeah. No, but that's the logic. It like, sort of I is want, the logic. It is, yeah. yeah. I want the made cupcake, and I do not want to do the work of baking it in the oven. Mm. I know, I know. And also the people that don't, the, the, being a comedy fan is so important, I think. Absolutely. Just yes. doing comedy and enjoying comedy. Yes. Because, like, I am a fan of comedy, so when I'm at a mic, it's kind of a good time. Yes. Yeah. Unless, you know, unless it's a string of unhinged people going up and being But like, even that's fun. Being like, mm. loose! <laughs> and you're like, all right, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> yeah. They just yell loose yeah, for five loose, minutes. Literally. Loose! For five minutes. <laughs> or some guy that I'm not exaggerating, and I don't want to, like, peek the mic. But, oh, okay, okay, but okay. Some guy would go up. He would go up at a mic and yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen this guy? I, th I think I okay, might know okay. who you're talking he about. He would go up yeah. and genuinely just take the mic and go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! For the whole time. I think and I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I think right I know. That. And it's really fucked up that he would plagiarize my act that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, really it is that. messed up. That's my act yeah. is a bad impression of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which am I, and my act is a really good impression of that. <laughs> ah! It's anytime someone's been like, hey, Gabby, when can I see your stand up? There it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, occasionally I throw in a fart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you do the pretty good fart noises, actually. You do it very I, well. Yeah. I, lo I love throwing in the fart. I'm, I'm really like a connoisseur of good fart noises. Mm. Yeah. Mm. How do, do you do the underarm or is it all mouth stuff? Um, I used to be able to do the underarm. Actually. Wait, what happened? Can't anymore. Why can't you do it anymore? Yeah. I still can. The accident. No, the you know. the, <laughs> <laughs> the accident. You know, you know what happened? Yeah. 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 You saved a kid from a fire, and then uh, it, it made your uh, armpit less moist. Yeah. Well, I had to <laughs> unleash. I had to use my armpit to get him out of the burning building. Oh, yeah. You yeah, lost yeah. your armpit a while back. You yeah, yeah. You I just did. Have That's an what arm. happened. Yeah. It's I remember. Just yeah, you're on the. Yeah, yeah, you're waiting for a transplant. Yeah. <laughs> You're waiting for a match. God, that list. <laughs> you wouldn't believe that list. Imagine like being an organ donor. You're like, yeah, I'll give my kidneys, my my heart, liver, my armpits. You know, you got to you gotta live. Yeah. yeah you finally, you're the last one on the list. And they're like, Gabby, we have good news. <laughs> we got you an armpit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm actually getting really emotional right now. Because that is like what I really want to happen. Yeah. Yeah, can you guys do the noise? I can definitely do it. Yeah. Really? You, yeah. you still can? What yeah. the Whoa. fuck? I definitely can't, to be honest. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You can't, wait, please try. You have to try. Yeah, actually, you have maybe to you try. Can. Well, you're, you, you have gotta to go under. It's gotta be skin to skin. Yeah, okay. you gotta you gotta go under. Okay. 
Like, you got it. No, I think the accent, you guys are actually really triggering wow. me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually like really upset right now. I'm, I'm sorry. Going to someone I'm going to do a blind person. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> I know you can see it. Come on, guys. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. No, it's actually really sad. I'm sorry for triggering you. It's time for less talking and more listening. <laughs> You're listening and learning. We just listen. listen the entire rest of the podcast to armpit noises <laughs> yeah, in yeah, a yeah. symphony. Yeah. It's that beautiful. would be a good podcast. I would I would do that. A- ASMR. Indeed. Yeah. You an ASMR guy? No. Oh my God. You, are you ASMR? I'm not. No, I'm not an ASMR person. It. I'll tell you what I do like is seeing people do desk assembly and desk organization. Oh, I find that cool. yes. really yeah. satisfying. Yes, that yeah. is very that's satisfying. That's really good. I yeah. love that. I don't know why. It's very aesthetic and pleasing. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's like I don't have to do it, but I can see it done. Yeah, you yeah, You see yeah. the process. It makes yeah. you feel a little bit accomplished. Like, yeah, I organize something. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, you get a little secondhand accomplishment. Oh, I have such secondhand accomplishment. Yeah. That's a lot of the internet nowadays. Is like someone I watched a video yesterday on a guy who bicycled from Shanghai to London. That's far, right? (laughs) (laughs) Because I'm because I'm not that good at geography, so I do want to make sure. Yeah, it's it's a bit it's, of a distance. Yeah, it's walking it's, distance. Yeah. It's walking, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a separate video of someone walking. I'll watch it later. <laughs> <laughs> but it was after at the end, I was like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I can't believe we made it back home. Goodness me, dude. Wait, so like, how did they make the video? Like, they put a GoPro on? Yeah, they had like a mm. GoPro, and he only made a video like every couple days because it's like. That's like a genuinely difficult yeah. to survive. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. you need to get food from people. That's that strenuous. Are... Yeah. yeah. Can I tell you what I also found myself watching like very late at night are people doing oh, uh, <laughs> pornography. Porno- yeah. <laughs> I absolutely adore pornography. People having sex. This new thing <laughs> where people have sex and then I jerk myself off. <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> I spanked the monkey and no what um the mon- where's the monkey spank involved? the monkey you've never heard that term spank oh I've never heard that term I thought that you was, made that up it's Yiddish no. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's another Yiddish it's another term Yiddish yeah, yeah. Term, yeah. <laughs> is there a Yiddish term for masturbating there's gotta be a bunch there's so many Yiddish terms oh. for everything finagling the geschmoigen I don't know what <laughs> yes. I don't know no, but what I but what I started watching late at night um, uh, when I'm not <laughs> masturbating. No, it's it's when hot not- tent camping. It's when people go camping, but they have like a stove, a little stove that they build in the tent. So it's like snowing outside and they set up a chimney and everything with the tent. And I find Whoa. it so satisfying and cozy to watch. Yeah, it is. Co- it's really, that really sounds good. Co- just hearing it. makes. It's me also that cozy. people will set up a camera far away. And so they'll film themselves walking across the snow and so i imagine like how many times they're like all right pick up the camera move it here now walk into frame how big are these tents they're like pretty i would say mid-size it's it's for one person as well it's just themselves just like filming themselves camping in like the woods of like nova scotia or something like that but it's so nice to watch it is nice to watch it's like those videos of like you know the like rainy day in the new york Mm. cafe or like a oh yeah 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 those always make me feel good, and I don't oh, know Oh, so why. good. It's just comforting. Well, like, I have, like, that giant beanbag over there, so I'll, like, pull a blanket over me, and I'll listen. I'm like, this is gorgeous. Yeah, that's it so nice. It is so nice. Do you live alone? Do you have roommates? No, I have no roommates. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I would do that, but my roommates would walk in and go, what are you <laughs> what doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. How many roommates do you have? Masturbating uh, in Yiddish. Two. Like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way to do it, if you're a Jew. Yeah. It's that's how you know you're doing it right. Yeah. yeah. There's all these stereotypes, but none of them are true. The only tr- true one is people masturbate in Yiddish. In Yiddish, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah you know true. what people say? You know, like that sort of like old joke in like <laughs> movies true. or whatever where you speak a language you don't know how to speak when you're having an orgasm? Imagine if you started speaking Yiddish. <laughs> I don't have to imagine that. You're like, I have no idea where they came from. Just deep in the blood. <laughs> Some of us, that's our real Some lived of experience. Ha, wouldn't that be crazy if that happened? Oh my god! Yeah. What? Lucas? Funny. <laughs> that's funny. I didn't. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just, so, so, Jamie, what, what were you saying before? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even saying it. Nothing. Nothing. Um. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, you were you have roommates. Yes. Well, <laughs> I, have, I have a question. Do you have any roommate horror stories? Any sort oh, of uh, yeah. any bad experiences? Do you want me to tell the story? Do you know the story? No. no. Oh, oh, okay. okay this okay. is what we go on podcasts this is a, for. This to... is a stand-up bit that I do. Oh. But we don't have to do the bit. If you're but welcome I can sharing describe it. the situation. If you're welcome sharing it, you're more than welcome. Yeah, of course. This okay. podcast is also an opportunity to do it in a way that's like, you can you can give us more detail than you would on Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go in and you can yeah. ask me questions please, please. about it. Yes. Where, where it's like, you're curious. So I lived in college. We were in a, in a dorm room and there was three people in the dorm room, me and my two roommates. And they were best, this. yeah, yeah. They were best friends from high school, um, but a month in, they discovered that they were gay, oh. and they like fell in love, <laughs> and they began having a, a, a homosexual relationship in the room that I also slept in, <laughs> <laughs> that I lived in as well, for like. But the the tough part, and I don't say this in the bit, but the tough oh. part is they were very conservative Christian guys. <gasps> Whoa. So they never admitted that they were like they were like oh. having gay a gay relationship, but they never admitted it. To you, who was yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> those those it. sounds yeah. were Wait, aggressively no, they washing didn't the dishes. Talk about it with you though, didn't they? No, no, they didn't talk about it. Whoa. They didn't talk about it. But oh. they would do it. Yeah, well, of course, yeah. They they, they live oh by that old God. phrase. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Yeah, <laughs> be the change you want to see in the world. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. Wait, can I ask now? Did you ever meet or get any friendly with like their families? Like, when did you ever yeah. talk with their parents and stuff? Because <laughs> like, it, <laughs> it was it was the first year of maybe we should edit that part out. I don't know if I can say that. No, you. Can, I can bleep out stuff. Or, okay. Um, yeah. So anyway, I knew their parents, and I met their parents and their whole family. And they were like okay. incredibly, they were a Mexican family that had emigrated to the United States who were very deeply like conservative oh and very deeply religious. Goodness. This is so messy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was, and it was crazy because they, they got into this relationship and that was just crazy because I didn't even realize it for a while. I don't even say this in the bit, but I didn't realize they were gay for a while. Mm. I can't only realize neither when I came they. home. <laughs> neither did they. I didn't realize it was like, a came home for, all three. for Thanksgiving, and I was like, "It's weird." My roommates they like sleep in bed together every <laughs> night. <laughs> they and are like, such good friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's "What just a beautiful weird. friendship!" <laughs> they just like cuddle every night before bed and fall asleep. I literally was so naive. I was like, "I think they're just like it's just weird." They happen to f <laughs> they like hang out in bed together and then they fall asleep in bed. That really shows and, like a deep open mindedness, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're like. It also yeah. shows how intimate you are with your friends. You're, you're just like, hey, this is what friends do, man. You're yeah. like, I'll cuddle a bro. <laughs> yeah, I I know. So I thought that they were just like the best of buds. Oh. And then my family was like, they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think they're gay because they would like they would have said they're gay or I love the idea that your family is trying to get you to be more accepting like you're in denial yeah yeah I'm like no they're just straight people <laughs> that I'm fine yeah <laughs> <laughs> Wow. They're like, Jamie, so, it, the, the, you know, they they are admitting to themselves something that I'm sure you've been thinking about. You're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm like, yeah, yeah. I want to like have like really close friends yeah yeah you're like oh god i that can't believe is... you're getting this out of me but i do want to cuddle with my friends yeah exactly <laughs> exactly and they like they would invite me to like cuddle with them but then so that was like the first quarter and then or the first semester and then the next semester was them like really having gay sex when i was in the room okay wow so yeah. How loud was it? Were they like dirty talking or being no. vocal? Okay, they were. They're being very quiet. Okay, they're trying to be. Trying, to be, but yes. then sometimes noises would occur that were per <laughs> inevitably, of course, inevitable <laughs> yeah. noises. Yeah, that couldn't be prevented. So I decided to. I had a strategy because they wouldn't do it when like people were over. Oh, that's like, nice. Yeah. That's a, nice. Yeah, that's a, nice of them. When like a girl slept in my bed. Okay, okay. so I was trying to get girls over. <laughs> So just you can sleep Whoa. just to sleep literally just to fall asleep wow because i also totally separate story but i couldn't have sex with anyone at that point because i couldn't get hard mm, but yes that's totally yeah. separate <laughs> mm, go, right. go, mm, on, go yeah. on yes yeah. well, you're working we've, we've on got onto the subject we wanted to get to <laughs> yes, now now that we have you and where we now want welcome you. to two nosy me <laughs> two nosy Cats featuring dick problems soft jamie soft, <laughs> soft, soft jamie, jamie. <laughs> 
That's the name of whatever oh, the special yeah. is. Soft Jamie. Soft to Jamie. Yeah, oh, that actually God. is a good name. That yeah. is a good name. Yeah. You're welcome. Soft to Jamie. It's kind of, yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. A lot of mm. women would be happy to cuddle, though, I bet. Especially if you were like, listen, I cannot sleep without you being in this bed because my roommates will have sex if you're not here. Yeah. So I actually did legitimately get some of my female friends to sleep over in bed with me. <laughs> wow. In a platonic way to stop them. Oh my god, that's wow. amazing! It happened several times, or I would sleep at their room. Obviously. Oh sure. yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Because just you know, let the let the guy let the boys have their let fun. the boys be boys. Saturdays yeah. are for the boys. I yeah. <laughs> wow. Did how did you also... how did you broach the subject to with the, my roommates? No, to your fr- to like female friends that you wanted to. Oh well, I was keeping them updated the whole time. Oh, oh yeah, sure, okay, yeah. So okay. they knew because uh, you know, and it, 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 they were just like my family at that point. Because yeah. yeah. I was from philly i went to uc santa barbara yes okay. so i was there it was like i didn't talk to anyone except those people right okay right, you know yeah. like they were like my family yeah you're very point. close yeah yeah and so they knew all of it so they gotcha. would be like yeah i'll i'll, I'll come and were you in a frat no okay no was no he just greek? looks like that oh no. <laughs> there, yeah. my mistake <laughs> no my was mistake. there greek um, life <laughs> we're not a monolith <laughs> <laughs> Frat diversity. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Men are a spectrum. Yeah, <laughs> a spectrum yeah. of annoying. Oh, that's, no, that's just good. me. That's just me. I'm just on that end. Oh, okay. No. Sorry, Lucas. Apology accepted. Yeah. Going that's back. A, I feel like that's a good line. I feel like you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. No, Were you ever like offered or asked to be in a frat? Did anyone like try to? Yeah. Well, so okay. Recruit? So freshman year, I was like, I probably want to do a frat, and then I went, uh, and I got, you know, I went to the annoy. Like the what's it called? The rush? pledge? Oh, rush! Yes. Rush! Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, my yeah, yeah. God! And uh, <laughs> I went to like the top house. Oh no! Oh, the big time rush! Oh my God! Yeah, yeah the band. And, and yeah. I and I got a bid, and I went to the first the pledge night. <sighs> and after that, I was like, I can't. These guys yeah, are. No. I can't. They're insufferable. And then I and then sophomore year, I joined uh, for one week because there was Deltopia. What's Deltopia? Or actually, that- no, this was the end of, of freshman year. So Deltopia at UC Santa Barbara was like the huge, the biggest party week of the year. Oh, okay. It's okay, like okay. a spring break as okay. week. They literally put up barricades so that out of towners, because people used to come from all over California to party in Isla Whoa. Vista. They literally block it off. And if you don't have a student ID, they don't let you in. Holy shit. Wow. Now, that's now, yeah. because there used to be riots. But anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. They used to just Separately. like get drunk and come out of town and like break shit. Oh my god! Uh, essentially, I'm imagining like a Lay Miz style musical, but it's all yeah. like party. <laughs> of course, drunk, Lucas like, is imagining yeah, that. <laughs> Do you hear the? Pi- uh, just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Lucas is not going to a party unless there are show tunes involved. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm injecting musical theater anywhere I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn. So I joined for one week uh, at the end of freshman year, oh, to, just, just to do that, to do the party, okay. do Delta Thon. Yeah, Delta. Yeah. Was it a good time or was it? It was a great time. Oh yeah, super fun because I got all my friends in. Nice. Yeah. I, of and then we just partied, and that Beautiful. was really fun. But uh, but no, I was not in it. Did a you do anything day. comedy related in college, or when was it that you decided? Well, I did like ten set, uh, ten twenty sets maybe mm-hmm. maybe okay. at santa barbara okay because they had this club where you were allowed to join anyone could join which is great most stand-up clubs like at myu it's like an audition yeah Whoa. they're like exclusive which is funny because like what it's pretty subjective especially at that age especially at that age no one's yeah. funny at 18 i'm yeah. sorry no one's funny no one is fun yeah. absolutely no. no well maybe maddie wiener she she might oh, be the one oh my god yeah, 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 yeah. never forget it she oh is, my god she's that, like 18 now yeah that episode <laughs> was incredible that was crazy yeah. she came on? yeah she was okay. on yeah, the she pod was on, yeah. she great, was on the great. pod talking about how at 16 she was doing open mics and i was I like what the f- I didn't I work know. up the courage to just try, and I took a class. That was the first thing I did. Yeah. I took a class as like yeah. a stepping stone. Yes, as for getting over my own anxiety. That was at twenty four. Mm-hmm. I was I. You could not have gotten me to do anything before then. I would have been like just trembling and shaking. The, I couldn't. The self confidence it requires yeah. is not. Uh, that's not common in a sixteen year old. It's insane to be like this seriousness of purpose to go do mics. Oh, yeah. and not only like do a mic, but do like she was stu- did. Yeah, like, you know, like how do... you're in the seat. She was like, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. Seat. That's fucking at sixteen. It's that's outstanding. crazy. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Yeah, incredible. And also... That's why she's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, she rules. I also yeah. think it's something that's like, I think 
like like i don't know if non-comic friends ask you about like oh no what if you bomb like yeah. i think that the fear of that becomes like less scary over time because you realize how truly low stakes it is oh yeah like yeah you go up for 10 minutes you don't do great and then everyone just fucking like forgets about it the next day no one's gonna be like in 2013 gabby was not very good at this one set like no one's gonna think that yeah exactly and also when people are watching the show they might remember that night that you bombed but if they see you in a week they they will almost definitely forget that you did a set in a good way yeah in a way of like if you bomb they're not like hating it they're just bored yeah. So they just kind of tune out and think about other stuff. The most beautiful thing you learn, I think, as you get older is that you are yeah. th- you are the main character in no one's life but your own. And that's a good thing. Yeah. That's oh. a really wonderful thing. Yeah, exactly. Well, you're the main character in my life. Am I'm I? more of a side character. I yeah. wish I could say the same. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what that's not what a main character would do. So. <laughs> yeah. Very side character. Are you, the, are you the, do you think you're a main character or a side character in general? In what in my <laughs> life in my life in your life yeah but also in other people's versions of you are you their main character wow no no I'm the most <laughs> side character yeah I'm not no. do you think you have sidekick energy I don't think you do at all yeah when no first time I saw you I was like this is the main character right here oh that's sweet I kind of yeah. think you have hero's journey vibes mm, like in terms of you know like can the- I tell you what you look like oh my god oh no <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You I just look realized like a case what you slur. <laughs> I know. He gets mean. I just realized what you look like. You look like someone who 20 minutes into the movie gets superpowers. That's what I mean. Yeah. You yeah. really do look yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean by it? like a skinny and... I don't know. I just feel like at some point <laughs> like, in the movie yeah. you look like an underdog. Like disheveled, disgusting. <laughs> yeah. I feel Not like well at some, I feel yeah. like at some point in the movie you're going to go and then you're just going to put a hood up and then you're going to run out and then you're going to have a deep journey. And it's like you're, you're a, you're a I, normal like guy who has to kind. save the world. Oh, vibes. Yeah. oh, that's very kind. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm a normal guy. I agree with that for sure. You're mm. like a normal guy. That's yeah. why I feel like, a, you know, it's like a side character thing. Yeah. What do you think? I don't need mo- to be. What do you th- I was going to say, what do you think is the most abnormal guy thing you do? Abnormal? That's a good question. Yeah. A- like as a guy or? Or in general, I guess. Mm. The most abnormal thing I do yeah. as a, as a person. Yeah. Oh man. Well, I get... I don't know what's the most abnormal. Jamie's thing you going. Do? I'm just I trying can't to talk about time. that. Do you have... Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what's the most abnormal thing I do? I do a lot of abnormal things. Oh, I I can tell you something that's okay. abnormal that yeah. I do is that yeah. if I'm if I'm eating uh, shrimp, I will eat the shell and the tail and everything. Oh, I always do that. Yeah. Oh, I do that too. Oh, I guess it's pretty. Normal. I didn't know you weren't supposed to do that. Are you not? Why are well, you not I supposed tell to you, do that? Uh, I may have talked about. I don't this. think you're supposed to eat the tail. You're not. I don't think you're supposed to. But it's delicious but and it's crunchy. And it's yeah, great. It's, it's great. Well, can I tell you? I was. Fuck I was, the rules. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was in college. It was in my like. It was the week of my graduation, and I was out with friends at a tapas restaurant. Yeah. And uh, a friend of mine across from me, he was um. He had ordered the same thing I had, and he left the shells. And so I was like, oh, do you want me to finish off the shells? And he thought it was a little weird, but he was like, sure, I guess. So he gave me the plate, and I was just downing the shells. And yeah. then my friend Alice was sitting next to me, and she was like, can you not do that? It is, like, grossing me the fuck out. And I looked at her, and I looked at the plate, and I looked at her, and I looked at the plate, and then I looked back at her, and I was like, I'm sorry. I like these more than I respect you. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, that is fair enough. Yeah. I think for a, most people, though, that is abnormal. I think for most people, okay. it's abnormal. Okay. Because yeah. I, yeah. I do. In, in this room, yeah. it's very normal. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's... The cool room. Out yeah. of context. Yeah. We're, yeah. I, I do this thing where, like, I feel like I need the weight between my fingers to be even. Like, so Ooh. I'll, like, touch the in-between <sighs> my fingers. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Yeah. That gives me a good one, then. Yeah. Okay. That gives me a great one. Oh, yeah. It's like... I, I don't know what OCD is, so I don't want to say it's OCD. It's like what people think of as OCD. Whenever I see numbers, like on a street sign, I try to add them to 10. Wow. Whoa. Like I just do it reflexively. And then I just try and stop myself because I'm like, why do that? Like, just <laughs> yeah, think about What does this else. serve in my yeah, life? Yeah. What does that oh do God. for me? I used to do a thing where if it was a... If there was a staircase, I would go on regularly, either up to class or where it's I don't know I would try to start it so I always ended on my right foot oh interesting yeah that's a similar yeah that's yeah. a similar like almost OCD thing yeah just but, a little bit yeah just a little yeah exactly um 
it was something to just occupy my brain just a little bit. Yeah, it's like a little game. Just adding a task. Yeah, yeah adding why. a task. That's yeah. right. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's like what the wordles are for me. Oh, for mm. sure. Yeah. yeah. Are you a wordler? I don't wordle, but I I believe that. Like yeah. it's you're just a word. A, you're a believer. <laughs> word wordlint. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> Is anyone in your life a wordler? Are they wordle pilled? No, no. Wordle, wordle pilled. pilled. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone buying into the great word of the wordle? The great word. No. Have I've... you heard the good news about wordle? <laughs> oh god. My mom actually got uh she didn't realize she was getting asked for money by like a of uh by like someone who's like trying to recruit for their church. Uh she, and she was like it was like a I don't remember where, but it was like a woman with like a very thick Caribbean accent. I won't try to do it because I'm not Chet Hanks. But oh god, um, I forgot about him. Oh yeah, well I just watched How's his uh, his interview. How's on he doing? Z-Way. He's great. He's doing great. <laughs> yeah. Tom Hanks' son. It's yeah. Marvelous. He went to my college. Really? Yeah, he went to my college. Yeah. What, for what was he an actor? I think he was a theater major. Yeah, theater. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh. Wait, wait. What what year were you? I graduated 2017. Were you a theater major? No. I was. Yeah. You were? Yeah. Do you know my friend? Should we say it? Can I say it? On the- I mean, if you if if you uh, we can bleep it out. If she's you an need. actress. Oh, or what's, an actor. What's her name? Marielle Issa. Yes. Oh, do you really? I was in a play with her. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah. I didn't expect you to say yes. That's oh, yeah. nuts. Yeah. Oh, she's great. Yeah, I haven't seen her since college, but she's wonderful. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah she's I great. I love her. She was a high school friend of mine. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Oh, that's she wonderful. was my girlfriend's best friend in high school, so we hung out a lot. Uh, oh, anyway, this, cool. I don't think this anything less interesting than <laughs> connecting her <laughs> someone that none yeah. of the oh, audience Oh, trust me, knows. we can always get less interesting. We, oh, yeah. There is a, oh, that gets low the bar. Um, I remember on Sasha's episode, we started talking about how the, um, the Natural History Museum has changed in New York. It has. Yeah, it has. And he was like, no one's going to listen to this. <laughs> but I think it's the most fascinating thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. I think someone. I think that's actually more interesting because everyone goes to the Natural History Museum. Yeah, well, yeah. But yeah. no one knows Mary Elisa outside yeah. of hey, several hundred people hey, in the world. Hey, one day they will. One day the world will. Yeah. One day the world will. You actually, don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fair. That is so fair. Mm. She, she becomes like the most successful actor of our generation. We're gonna then... rename this the Mary Elisa podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Elisa presents. Did you? Did you? Mary <laughs> Did you know that um, Michael Palin, who was in Monty Python, he was once flicking through a magazine one day. This is while they were trying to come up with a name for what became Monty Python. But um, he, it was like a gardening magazine, and he saw a name of a woman who was like good at gardening. Her name is Gwen Dibley, and he just got obsessed with this woman's name. He just thought it was a really sort of like lyric. It was like a well-balanced name, Gwen Dibley, and he, and he posed it to the group. He was like... What if we made, what if our sketch group was named after her, but we never told her? <laughs> Just like giving someone a sketch group, but you never tell them. Whoa. So, and he said his fantasy was that her her son would be like watching TV and he would go, Mom, you got a series on television. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> So we could do that with Mary Elisa. Yeah. Yeah. Mary, we can. This is the Mary Elisa podcast. This now now we're Mar- not yeah. fucking bleeping her name. Oh, not at all. I mean, oh, we've also about said only much. very nice things about her. Oh, yeah. She's no. Great. Yeah. I love Mary. Yeah. She's wonderful. Yeah. It'd be nice so person. weird if we bleeped everything out and it was like, bleep is the nicest person in the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love bleep so much. <laughs> Yeah, that would make it seem so much Or we just worse. do like a, a like a text to speech Mark Zuckerberg. Just like <laughs> <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg presents. Mark Zuckerberg presents. That's, mm. yeah, yeah. That's good. Mark that's... Zuckerberg presents the alt right. That's the first oh, open mic in the metaverse. He does present it. Yeah. Would you yeah. do a metaverse open mic, Jamie? Uh no, but I've done a metaverse show. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I did a show on the Metaverse at New York Comedy Club one time. Oh, my God. And it was crazy because it was like a, a full room in real life. And then there was like 100 people on the Metaverse watching the show. What? Whoa. So weird. Was it like an avatar of you or was it just like a video of you playing in the Metaverse? It it's was like a, a movie theater in the I Metaverse. I see. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Which I'm like, I I don't get it mm. for the them. For I don't get that. For I... the attendees in the metaverse. Are you like metaverse people? No. But I used to work in virtual reality. You what? Did? Yeah. Do you yeah. like it? I liked it a lot, actually. You did. You, wh- wait, I've never heard about this. You worked in virtual. Wait, yeah. what'd you do? I I mean, mainly I was like their communications person. So huh. I, w- I would like write press releases for them. And I would also help set up their equipment. Wow. 
But okay. I don't know that I get it yet. I wouldn't like put on a VR headset to like watch a comedy show. Mm. Yeah, That'd be, yeah, that no, would be bizarre. Right. I wouldn't yeah, do that. No, that would be so But weird. it's fun for like first person shooter games because you are literally that like sounds in good. the game. Yeah. That sounds it fun. Is. That would yeah. be good. Yeah. 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 But can I tell you, I, uh, two days ago, I went to Global Meme Con because a friend of mine who is a TikToker, he was one of the speakers What's on this Global like panel. Meme Con? I wish I could explain. That sounds fun. It, it sounds was, like a good time. It was Were they unveiling new memes like at E? <laughs> like, like at E3? The next biggest meme. We are so glad to have you all together. Yeah. The new meme 14. It has everything meme 13 had. <laughs> but now with Mags. <laughs> now with Mags. It just says, you telling me a shrimp fried this rice, but there's also a photo of a shrimp frying rice. <laughs> They're like, see, it's different. It's slightly different. <laughs> Sometimes oh. memes like online really do feel like they're invented in a lab. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, are. yeah. Oh, yeah. But Global Meme Club, genuinely what it was, it was them talking about like the future of memes and reels on like Instagram and Facebook and like what the future and also oh, cool. how NFTs are going to be introduced. How like creators oh. can monetize. It was like it was talking about all that stuff for anyone that like it was like live streamed as well and then but there was a magic show that i watched in the metaverse it was a dude doing magic in meta wow it was insane because like literally it was like doing these like it was a card trick where this guy was like had a bunch of cards face down and he like mix and you add and like someone who was in metaverse was like mixing them up doing like creating the order and then like he unveiled them and they spelled out metaverse and and he didn't plan the order like she did, and it was it was pretty cool. Wow! There was someone who painted in the metaverse. You watched him on a virtual palette mix paint and then draw it. That's really it cool. was insane. That's really cool. So you're a metaverse guy now? No, it was terrifying. No. <laughs> it was <laughs> yeah. So I yeah, exactly. It, it was cool, but it was also like, oh my god, is this the future? It was like it's not. That's the thing. It's so not. It's super not the it future. It really yeah. is not the future. I don't yeah. know a single. I've literally never met it, and we're like young. Like yeah, we are the target demo for. Why would you look at Gabby when I said that? <laughs> what yeah, that? what are you trying to say? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, and we're this person young. young? Uh. Yeah. He's like, don't say it in front of Gabby. <laughs> she's gonna think that you she's young out? too. Yeah, I'm what? Freak out. I'm <laughs> what did you just say? How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> what, Gabby, so don't. Are you lunge at me? Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> no, like, Gabby. strangle you on the pod live. Yeah. yeah. No, but no one. I've talked to so many people, yeah. and no one wants that. No one. People no. want real. They want real life. Yeah, they don't want. The Especially simulation. after the past two years, where so much of life has been virtual, has I, been indoors. Exactly, you want to be exactly. Yeah, I've also never met anyone who's like, I want to spend more time online. That's right. what I no. want to start doing. True. Never. A hundred percent. Absolutely not. World. I don't get it. Unless it becomes so realistic that it's indistinguishable from reality itself. Oh, yeah, but that's then terrifying. That's so. It's terrifying. But that's the only time I could see someone maybe doing it. Because yeah. then, what's the difference? But I even guess, then, but it's, oof. even then, yeah, <sighs> yeah. Is there a weirder show you've ever done than that? Than the Metaverse show? Uh, a weirder show than that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Can you say what I've it done is? Done weird shows. Um, yeah, the weirdest show I ever did was I was doing late night at New York Comedy Club. So you go up after the book show is ending, and it used to be like there'd be twelve people everyone doing five minutes so the the normal show on a monday night it starts at 10 it ends at like or 10 15 it would end at 11 45 so we you the first person on late night would get on at 11 45 and the the last person would get on at like one yeah in the morning so by that time usually like seven comics in the show ends because all the audience leaves but this night this one couple stayed the whole show whoa and just then, them just them so like it started as like a full audience on a Monday, so like mm -hmm. forty people on a Monday, and then with each comic like two couple couples leave. So by me it was literally before me there were six people in the audience. They announced my name and then four people leave. Oh my god! Jesus. So I'm performing to one couple in the front row. <laughs> oh my god! And I'm not even kidding. This is not an exaggeration. They were literally stacking chairs in the back of the room <laughs> as I'm on stage because the manager is like, I just want to leave. 
I just want to oh go home. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, you know and I, no hate on him. Like I would do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, the worst and thing I'm good is that I, him, you can't hate him. You no. can't blame that you guy. That yeah. is a person who is yeah. What are you saving the integrity of the show by not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by not? He might crush oh. for these two, this couple. So I didn't do any jokes. Obviously, I just got to know them. <laughs> of course, they were yeah. from Paris. They were very interesting people. Oh, they were oh, a couple lovely. from Paris. Yeah, they were in town for a week. Nice. Just on vacation. Wow. It's and very that, considerate that you still remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they still remember. I, I had them follow me on Instagram. We came, oh. became like a kind of friend. We talked after the show. That was I, great. I was like, I said at the show, I was like, show. it's a little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's technically <laughs> qualifies as a comedy show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it started as a show. At that point, it wasn't a show. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so you're right. It was just a cool hang. That's just what a- I said on stage. I was like, honestly, it's weird that I have a microphone. We could just go out in the hall and, have, <laughs> yeah. and just talk. Yeah. You were right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and then we did. We talked for, from on stage. I was like, what's your names? And we got to, and then I was like, all right, well, the show's over now to, like, to let them clean up. Right. And then we just talked out in the hall for a little bit and they That's got lovely. my Instagram. Maybe they don't follow me anymore. Maybe they unfollowed, but they follow me on Instagram. Then. Oh. What do you think? What what's... If, can I, sorry for oh, no, no, go for it. Go for what it. if this is their game where they go to a comedy club, the very last, and they just try to like, they try to like build up the last comedian's confidence and then yeah. they unfollow them months later. That would be a, an amazing game. Yeah, yeah. it would. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever you said it like it was devious? Yeah. Yeah. What if, what they, if? you built up their confidence for months <laughs> until they don't need you anymore? Yeah. And then That's you. what I was imagining. Yeah. What if they're so famous because of you? <laughs> Did you know that like yeah. maybe like five or six years ago, there was like a couple that were notorious in the London theater scene because they would they would get a box uh, in the theater and then they would have sex during a play. And this was a thing they did. They went around. What kind of box? Like oh, like like the, a box, like yeah. you know, like like when you're in a theater on the up. Oh, on the yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those like, 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 like kind of like an Abraham Lincoln, like where he was exactly. Shot, that's of. exactly. I'm so dumb. I was thinking? like, well, why would they get a cardboard box? <laughs> 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 like, I'm not Can kidding. I say I thought you meant like a vagina? Like, why are you calling it a bunch? Just like they sit in someone's vagina? So no. they would get a vagina <laughs> yeah, they, you know, at the store, you know. And that was only the third weirdest thing. Yeah. <laughs> Buying the vagina. <laughs> Oh my god! Well, Jamie, I yeah. was gonna ask you. Like, so you, I feel like you got more active on Instagram recently. Like, yeah. how has that been for you? Like, connecting with different people who like oh, like yeah. your material and stuff. Oh, it's nice. I don't. So I have a specific approach, but I don't like social media. I think it, for me, it okay. really makes me like just think about the wrong stuff in life. Period. Oh, okay. So I have a time limit of twenty minutes a day, and I can't go on for long. That's than very that. healthy. Oh, that's my so healthy. My girlfriend has my passcode, so I literally can't go on for more time than that. Whoa. Um, okay. So I, I get locked out like every day. That's um, so good. Yeah, it's re- I I really like it. I know a lot. Some people don't approach it that way, but so it's been like it's fine, I guess. Like it's fun to see that people like like my material, and I really appreciate when people like message like. You're so funny or, you know, I keep going. I support Mm. you and stuff like that. But it's not like I'm not like actively connecting with people because I try to avoid. Right. Staying on. You're not letting it invade other areas of your life or other times of your day. Exactly. Yes. And it's that's so important to me. That's what I don't do. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's what I'm. But is it like a negative thing for you? I will say that I lose track of time sometimes because like. Yeah. Because like so much of my time on has been spent online, especially in the past couple of years, that mm-hmm. I I'm also that person. I'm like, you could be doing more. There's there's something else there. Like you could turn this into a better video or something. Doing, I don't know if that's true. Yeah, for you. Sorry, so, that's true for some people, but not you. Wait, I'm, I, I you just do so much. You've got the work ethic. Yeah, you got yeah. the work ethic. I do, but yeah. it's it tends to consume me in a yeah. way that can be unhealthy. Another thing is that I also will. It's very easy for me to skip meals where I'll forget that I'm even hungry. Yeah, mm. and I and then I will just like continue like scrolling, like looking for an idea to like riff off of or some. I I do that a lot. Yes, and I need to force myself to stop and actually just be and like sit still or something like. I that. I know, I know that is important to force yourself, but but yeah. do you feel like it's a negative thing? You feel like it's. I think. Because it doesn't I don't sound know. like you don't enjoy. I like really hate like being on yeah. social media yeah so. no i do i do enjoy it and yeah. it and it yeah. and it is fun because like most of the people that like 
comment or like that interact with my stuff were very kind or cooperative yeah. and then, some wholesome fans yeah they're very cooperative. generally very... that's a weird for yeah. cooperative <laughs> they, do they play along <laughs> many they of them enact along. my agenda <laughs> just like i like they're conforming just perfectly <laughs> Well, because sometimes people say like mean stuff. They'll say like, "Oh, this is unfunny" or "It's cringe." Yeah. But then I I discovered the fun way to deal with that is I pretend that they said something nice and yeah. I say, "Hey, yeah. so glad you love my stuff, man. I yeah. love. I that. make it all just for you." Well, my girlfriend follows you, and she showed that to me, and I was like, "This is the best thing I've ever seen." <laughs> I love dealing it with it that way. That's yeah. literally the best thing you could do. It's the best bit. Yeah. And when I realized that, I was like hungry for it. I was like, "Oh, I yeah, want." I want yeah. Now I need yeah, more. Yeah. Hate. Now I want more. Yeah. yeah exactly. Also, what the fuck does it mean to be cringe? I'm sorry. We're going to get philosophical for a second. But, like, you to call you... something cringe is to be like, I don't like that you're trying. Yeah, I don't Which know. is such a projection because everyone should be trying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In this life. Yeah. I was like, it's cringe that you're spending time on someone you think is cringe. <laughs> no, that's so much weirder. That's yeah. so much weirder. <laughs> yeah. How much more weird is it to watch a whole video and then be like... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I have to let him. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's so much. Weird. I need him to know. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's why every Yelp review is either really good or really bad. Because imagine someone taking the time to write neutral reviews. Yeah. Oh yeah, my exactly. god. So who is that person? They like, eat at a meal. They're like, well, the guacamole wasn't as flavorful as I usually like. Mm. There are like super reviewers who can like, get, you can like, get points and like go to conferences for yeah. reviewing stuff. But like, but who's... other than that, it's so weird. It's to, so fucking to, weird. Yeah, exactly. We shouldn't have opinions on stuff all the time that we just no, share. No, that yeah. is what's awful about the internet is that it's yeah. sort of yeah. s engine. I don't know condition. That's the word I'm looking for. Conditioned us into thinking that we need to have an opinion on everything and to vocalize it. It's so true. And you so don't. Yeah. No, it's you so, so true. don't. You see that in open mic comedy too. The people who are like, oh like, god. Like Clara was talking about this yes. on their episode where they're like, uh, p those people who are like, what's my take about this thing in the news? It's like, well, it's it certainly could be that you don't have one, and that yeah. would be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a great take. It it's certainly. So <laughs> yeah. oh, I love that for them. I love, like them. I love them saying that. I, I that's like the exact take that. I, yeah, that's the yeah. perfect way to put it. They nailed it yeah. because when you like go up at a, especially an open mic, mm. it's like no one cares. <laughs> I mean, some people care what Dave Chappelle thinks about things. I, I think that's it's kind of stupid, but yeah. some people care what he thinks. I, I you know I care like is the comedy good? Which yeah yeah. But <laughs> well, he's also like Sometime. very famous. No one cares like what any of truly yeah, no one cares what, I, what any of us think. I know <laughs> he is. He I is know. so separate from like just like yeah. the sort of more like regular zeitgeist of people. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why he has this this podium or this. What is it? The the soapbox to yeah. get up on. Yeah. But you don't. And no one cares. Right. Yeah. Unless yeah. it's the funniest joke ever. Like no one cares. I will say, though, for everything that has been said about like a. Uh, uh, Ellen DeGeneres in the past couple years about the work environment she created. There is one stand up bit that I adore. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm I was sorry. like, where did Ellen come in? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll, no. I'll bring it together because she has a bit about like how she's like unrelatable. I thought you And then, wait, it sorry. It seemed like you were just bringing her up to, to, to say that. <laughs> it's SpawnCon for Ellen, yeah. this whole podcast. <laughs> we're like, Jamie, you've led such a, a difficult life at times, and you've been so vulnerable about it. You know who else has? Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> yeah. She's really an amazing comic. The yeah. Ellen DeGeneres of comedy, you are. <laughs> yeah, Jamie's a lot like Ellen, yeah, honestly. That's not a good thing to be, I yeah. feel like. <laughs> no, <laughs> not anymore. But you were saying, so she, as no, she much has been, been she's said like, about she's her. She's like, listen, uh, she's like, a lot of people say I'm unrelatable. I don't know why. I like get down. Yeah. I like, I walk down my flight of stairs from Gone with the Wind, just like the rest of you. <laughs> yeah. I look out at my hundreds of avocado trees just and it's like it's yeah. a joke about like how unreal and i thought that i thought that was really funny. very funny it yeah that's, a good that whole special was good and it was it all was, kind yeah, of in that vein of like exactly you won't relate to it but it's still funny exactly yeah. that's which it, is yeah. great yeah i see what you're saying it, it's kind of similar to the yeah, Chappelle yeah, yeah. thing but no one would give a shit if you were just a rich guy that they didn't know saying that right <laughs> yeah. they'd be like okay well we hate you now Mm. It's also like the the take on whatever the most recent thing is is never going to be fresh. No, no. Because it's like we're all still like processing stuff that happens. Like, mm. yeah. I, I remember like 
the the when covid like really started popping off in like january february and at the when open it started mics, trending everyone was talking off. it was popping off it came Pop out off, bestie. when covid <laughs> got huge on tiktok <laughs> <laughs> yo when covid really blew up <laughs> She was crazy at the mics because everyone everybody was like was the doing coronavirus. The COVID. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're all doing the. We're still all doing the we're COVID. Still, yeah. Have you had COVID yet? COVID. I did. Yeah, I had yeah. no symptoms. Did you? Did you? I did. Yeah, I had it. I, did I had well. it in March. How, oh, last March? Like it, the first March? No, like a, like this past March. Oh, okay. Like oh, when no course, one yeah, yeah. when no one cared anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's the worst. When it wasn't that. trending anymore. <laughs> It was like such a bummer because everyone was like, wait, it's so Lucas got me a cake when I had COVID oh, and that's sweet. On I, got, it, I dropped off a Carvel cake. Yes. Yeah. But that's on it, nice. it said, congrats, it's COVID. Yeah. <laughs> and when he had it made at Carvel, oh, yes, the it guy, is. the employee was like, who in your life has COVID? Like, that's not a thing anymore. Yeah. He literally, <laughs> really? no, yeah. literally I said, um, I said, a friend of mine has COVID. I just want to get this cake as a joke. Can you write congrats? It's COVID as if it was like a gen- as, yeah. as the joke. Yeah. And he was like. I thought you couldn't get it anymore. He genuinely looked at me like concerned as if I was dumb. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you can. And my friend has it. Put it on the cake. Yeah. I was like, Thanks for the cake, man. Yeah. yeah. When did you, when did you get it? Uh, this January or last December, actually. Okay. Oh, okay. No Same symptoms. as me. Yeah. 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 No, so, oh, it was when everyone, like, I think. I there think was a I big saw, outbreak among comedians in the, in the, in back the in December. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, I didn't get it from that. I got no? it when I was visiting family in London. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, My, it was huge in London back then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was all. It was huge. It was literally doing theaters in <laughs> London. <laughs> yeah, it was at the West End. It was. It, was, it, it was probably everywhere. was at the West End. <laughs> well, it toured up and West down the country. End, yeah, well, it made all the stops. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it was in the London countryside. Yeah. 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 Across the border, <laughs> yeah. went through the channel. Yeah. The channel. <laughs> the channel. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the the Channel Tunnel through that the Eurostar goes through into England. It's called the channel. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. it's a very long one. Right? I was yeah. just waiting for Jamie to confirm yeah. that it, that it was true. You need Jamie to fact check. For I don't me. know. Yeah, yeah, Jamie, pull that up. Yeah, Jamie, pull. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, pull that up. That's really good. <laughs> the, but you were saying about COVID. You were saying like the tape. Yeah, the how tapes, yeah, because people would be like, "Oh my god, the coronavirus!" But like nobody knew anything about it, including myself. I yeah, thought, so I thought you couldn't get it like if you were like at the Whole Foods. I know. I thought it, like. Wait, what? Yeah. I thought like rich people were gonna be able to like av- like people who like shopped organic were like somehow gonna be able to avoid it. Like I didn't realize it was like airborne. I guess. And yeah. then Tom Hanks got it. Oh, and I was yeah, like, okay. this is serious. Yeah. Oh, very I early like, on oh when you didn't gosh. know how. Yeah. The- okay. Okay. No, I, I wasn't talking about like yesterday. <laughs> Gabby was like, it's a poor disease. I won't be affected. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah the riffraff tend to get it. <laughs> the riffraff tend to get it. You know how the riffraff do. Oh, they do. Yeah. They do be Swirling champagne like, oh, poor them. <laughs> no, but I remember You're like that. Ronald That's Reagan, a- like straight people can't get it, can they? No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you remember, you remember It's such that. a good point because yeah. Yeah. I hit this, I was so excited, but it is such a good point, like- you should never be the first person with a take. I saw that with the Ukraine stuff. Oh, oh my God. And yeah. then it became like really bad. And you're like, yeah, that's why you don't when a war might be coming. That's yes. That's why you don't do like bits about that. Kind yeah. Of thing. Yeah. When uh, can I, another or, thing was the sorry, or you finished. No, no, go ahead. No, the um, the Will Smith slap. That also is something that I, I know. I did actually make a tweet, but I immediately deleted it because I I didn't like how it made me feel, and I was like, I'm gonna trust my gut that I that I, it's actually not a good idea to yeah. like try to make jokes about this right now. Yeah, exactly. At least try to like digest it a little bit bef- before we even think about it. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's very rare on the internet, especially yeah. Twitter. I think Twitter is the worst of all of them. Oh, easily, yeah. Because oh, I agree, of yeah. how reactionary it has to be. It's also how quick it is to do something. You just literally and then Bam. you're done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas yeah. like with TikTok or Instagram, you, you take a photo, it. you edit yeah. it, you there's yeah. like Yeah. is yeah. There's a pro- you're not on Twitter at all, are you? I was on Twitter during the pandemic in like that summer and fall. Because I was tweeting, I was like, that's the only thing I could really do for comedy. Sure. That's what mm. I thought at that time. Um, and so I tweeted for a long time, like months, not a long time, but months. And I was like, I need to stop. Yeah. yeah. This is like the worst thing ever to happen to me. <laughs> it makes me crazy. Like now that I am only have 20 minutes a day, I literally only have time to post or like DM people. Mm. So I can't look at my feed. I have no time to do that or even how my stuff is doing. That's really good. Yeah. Which is really good because now I'm like, 
if I just don't feel affected by it, even if people That's are hating wonderful. on stuff, I, I, I just like see one hate comment. I laugh and then I keep going. Yeah. I think hate comments are funny though. I, yeah. I, I do think it, it's funny to be like at the act that we were doing before, but like you, you see something, you know, look at the comments oh i have to let him know that this is <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. he can't be going on <laughs> he yeah. can't be going all confident with his day he's yeah. gotta yeah. feel fucked up inside yeah. <laughs> can i can i ask how did you uh break the sort of maybe break the habit of like being too much on social media how is it that you actually uh was it you yeah. were like i need to stop and then you spoke to your girlfriend like hey can you help me like uh get off like what did you do no i was try i tried to do it myself okay yeah. like i did the time limit myself oh, but i then see okay you can just ignore that yeah so i would do that right it's also i have like an addictive personality so sure okay. yeah it's tough for yeah. me to like stop myself gotcha yeah that's kind of the thing with addicts we don't have that thing of like like just cool it on that right so i, I would just keep i would just keep hitting like remind me in 15 minutes and then it gets it just it's it's bad for you because you your other people's opinions become your own mm. and you don't know what you believe anymore. That's now that I'm offline, I, I actually understand what I think about stuff. But mm. especially when I was on Twitter is the worst. Instagram is not as bad and TikTok is just fun, I think. Yeah. But uh but like when I was on Twitter a lot, I would be like, This is an opinion I have and then now that I have distance from it, I'm like, I didn't believe that. I just saw that that was like a popular opinion on mm. Twitter. Yeah. And I think a lot more that happens to a lot more people than would like to admit. That is something I'm it's interesting. I actually had sort of like a breakthrough in therapy. Uh, very early in the year, sort of like end of December, beginning of January, where I had a session with my therapist where I talked about like how I, I have trouble understanding how I feel about things, what my opinion is. Do I like this? Do I like And And she was like, well, what is something you know for sure that you love? Something in your life that you absolutely love that you can't doubt at all. And it was like, Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I have a Elon Musk. Yeah, Elon. <laughs> Elon Musk. I love him. Zuckerberg, beautiful. Zuckerberg. Yeah, very handsome man. What Voice was of an it? angel. No, I'm it was. So well, I said. Well, I said stand up. I said, well, stand up yeah. is something that I absolutely yeah. love. I yeah. know for sure that I love that. And yeah. she was like, why is that? And it took me a minute, and I said because no one else pushed me to start doing stand up other than myself. Yes. Mm. Yes. And That's she was beautiful. like, "Whoa." And I was like, "Is that, that big?" Is she was like, "That is big." And so I've now gotten to the wow, point where I cool. try to create a vacuum, and if I still go for something. Uh, then I know that it's still me. Yeah. yeah. And so I try to ask myself that question anytime I add a, a new element or do oh, it or new active anything. That's I so try good. to I try to ask myself that question that's if so I would important. go for it in a vacuum. Yeah, dude. That's that's really important. Yeah. That, that's like yeah. super. Yeah. yeah. That's, but that's yeah. That's something that's like my my like proudest achievement of the past year is just having that realization. Yeah. 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 Was it? A, can we ask you a little about like your sobriety? Like, how was that process of like? No. Oh, <laughs> no, you're I, right. It's your whole thing. And absolutely I'm like, <laughs> not. Yeah. <laughs> cut that. Cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> Jamie, cut that out. Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> Jamie, could you Jamie's cut that gonna out? Edit yeah. that out oh, it's me. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, but like, what the, what was that process for? Was that like something you kind of came to on your own, or were people around you like, dude? Oh, getting sober. Yeah, mm. yeah. It was it was uh, on my own. It was yeah. on my own. Wow. It was. Uh, well, I was very good at hiding it. No one even knew I had a problem. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's so many people like that. You'd be fucking shocked. There's so I'm many. I'm not people surprised. That, yeah. No. Yeah. I'm not terribly surprised yeah. because it's that's the. That's the path of least resistance. It's the easiest way to do it if nobody yeah. knows about it. Yeah, mm. exactly. Especially yeah. with like pills, it's like only really the people you buy it from. Yeah, yeah, only they mm. know. Yeah, because because especially oxy, because I'm like, it never got to the point of doing heroin with me, and that's like a different lifestyle. But like with oxy, it's like you can literally just. I mean, I did this. I would just like do it at school, just like before mm -hmm. school, just like take an oxy and and have like a fantastic day. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, of course, have so yeah. much fun. You're selling this really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is. It's important to to say that it's really good. Yeah, because I feel like otherwise, this is what happened to me. Is like they tell you drugs are really bad in school, mm. and then you do drugs, and they're amazing, and you go, or let's say, like use one example, like weed. Mm -hmm. Like that, I got high for the first time, and I was like, wait, this is only fun what else were they lying about? And then you try everything mm. and then you get actually addicted to something, mm -hmm. but it's not good to like lie. You should be like, yeah. it feels really good. It, 
to do, but there's so many reasons you shouldn't do it. And there's so many reasons that it like destroys your life. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. That's like such a, I mean, sorry, I'm not like, that's so cool, but like, yeah. it is a good way to think You're about the coolest it. coolest guest we've ever had. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually, I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ronald's a big fucking nerd. Yeah. 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 So Maddie Wiener is awesome. And but a the best comic that <laughs> I know personally. Yeah. But cool. Cool in high school is not doing stand up. <laughs> I agree. Uh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know that there's that many stand ups who were honestly cool in high school. I yeah. Feel like exactly. it would have been really difficult. But the weird thing is I was cool in high school, but just not because I was cool, because I was funny. Interesting. And I was like, that's weird to me because I always felt like the funny kid was cool. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because they made school fun, which is, like, kind of a cool thing to do. Even if, like, even if the cool kids don't, like, like you, they're still, like, you can keep being fun. You know? Like, they don't fuck with you because the funny kid is, like. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? I befriended people by doing impressions of our teachers. And I made them laugh doing that. Yes. Oh, I love that. That's a huge thing. Yeah. I feel like at my school, like, the funny kids just, like, weren't funny. Like, I didn't relate to what they were saying. Like, all the bits would be. There's one bit at my school oh, where uh, one kid would just yell out, tight, and another kid would go up behind him and yell, super tight, and it would bur- it bit. would <laughs> bang the house down. The The room would crack up in applause, <laughs> raucous applause, and I would be like, what the fuck is going on? What's the punchline? Yeah. Where's the setup? Wait, Jamie, just go with me. Just go with me on this. How did you not get this? That's hilarious. Yeah, oh, that's... sorry, yeah. Uh, I'm well, just pretty that's like didn't. Wait, but the second guy said super tight. <laughs> yes. Oh my that's God. why it's hilarious. Yeah, because the amazing. First, yeah. It's called heightening. Super tight. Super tight. <laughs> that yeah. is a, it's a heightening experience. Do you yeah, remember height. a time that you like <laughs> brought down the house in school in high school? Yeah, yeah. I was pretty good in class. Do you remember in, in a specific cl- I could joke crush or in class? Yeah. Yeah. The big, the big one. F- oh man. The big one for me was reading in English class. I would okay. fucking slaughter. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because I would actually do act outs in the read. Because no one tries in the reading. Of course, mm. yeah. And I would fucking like try really hard. And the teacher, it was hard because she couldn't get mad because I was doing it. Like she, <laughs> yeah. she can't be like, no, but read it like boring, like how everyone reads. It. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, so yeah, I, yeah. I like would do voices and act outs, but way too far. Oh, like yeah. to the point of it being super disruptive and distracting and and honestly funny like the voices were all funny and yeah. we're reading like like J- like a jane austen is it jane austen yeah yeah, yeah she's, yeah. Per- yeah, she's, she's one around of them. Yeah. yeah jane austen novel and they were like it's not funny at all yeah. but i'm reading it in a funny way and that is crushing even more because it's not supposed to be funny yeah because wow. it's supposed to be like very did serious. you like yeah. gilbert godfrey like <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah like and a, then he took off yeah, my dress. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like real, but like trying hard with the British accents and every voice. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, Karen. And you're in high school <laughs> and it's kind of funny the noises you're making. So that's yeah, yeah, one yeah. F- element of comedy. But the second that's so important is you shouldn't laugh at this. Yes. So it's going to cry. Yes, 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 yes. That's why it's so funny. And that's why it's hard to harder to be funny as a comedian when people know you're a comedian. Yeah. Because you're... It's not unexpected, but it's so easy to be funny when people don't expect it. Right. You know? That's why the jokes all have to be like the re- like yeah. they have to be some kind of like a weird reveal or a misdirect. Yeah. Like, yeah. Especially yeah. in an environment where yeah. you're somewhat restricted, like in an English class where you're like you're told exactly to do one thing, stay in these borders. And if you break out, but yeah. you're still on. Yeah. Still technically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's why I like karaoke. You can do some weird shit doing karaoke. Yeah, karaoke is a good example. Everyone like expects you do karaoke, you're just going to sing the song. Yeah. You That's can a- do so much more than that. Can I tell you something that I did yesterday, but no one else heard except Tina? Of course, yeah. Was that we were, so we did karaoke. Oh, Tina, I love Tina. Yeah, you know, Tina, Tina, yeah, yeah. I just saw Tina on Instagram recently. Oh yeah. yeah, I forget. Maybe it was great one of comedian your Tina Sieben. So funny, yeah. Tina and uh, and I was like, holy shit! I haven't seen Tina since the pit. Wow. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, oh, crazy. I miss that attic, that creepy fucking attic. Oh, I know Tina had like the best mic too. Oh yeah, she had the eight o'clock. Yeah. I never, I never went to her. I never knew her before the pandemic, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I never met her. Oh, wow. But we've become like really good friends recently. Yeah. 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 But so we were at karaoke yesterday, and then like. As like a gag, we did uh, karaoke for um, the wheels on the bus. 
and um, <laughs> there's a real banger version of it yeah really? but I, yeah, so yeah it was like i uh, will show you after it was everyone else like a, was singing a beat. yeah everyone else is singing it but i went just skrrt, <laughs> or remix or just like you yeah, just like at every beat i think what's funny about that is that it yeah, does that such seem a like good example i was but... i was having a blast yeah. sometimes when he talks like actually <laughs> it is at a frequency where like only tina can hear it for some reason yeah like you know those mosquito sounds that like only they can hear yeah <laughs> i'm calling lucas I'm the mosquito a vermin. people yeah. yeah you're a vermin i'm a vermin no mosquitoes aren't you, vermin you by, by the way meerkat why is it called two nosy meerkats we were talking about like uh, title ideas when we were thinking about starting a podcast and we just started talking about like how we wanted to ask people sort of nosy questions about drama in their life and okay. we started talking about meerkat manor about how they had like oh. drama on that show and we were like why don't we just call ourselves two nosy meerkats do you know oh, meerkat nice. manor yeah 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 of oh, course that shit's the best amazing yeah really shakespearean drama in the meerkat oh, yeah. community but it's <laughs> it's true <laughs> it really is yeah, yeah. I, I, the pilot was I feel like I wanted to watch it as like a comfort watch in quarantine because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, my God, these funny little meerkats. Yes. And then the pilot was, let's hope Francis doesn't have to kill the young of her daughter. Uh, it was like, yeah, let's yeah. hope that. Yeah. <laughs> and I turned it off. It was too depressing because COVID yeah. had just like really become a thing. And that's what Love Island is missing. Is it? Yeah. Love Island is missing the young. murder. Yeah. yeah. Do you Killing watch Love Island? Young. Yeah, yeah, I love I love what, it. What like, you... It's a fantastic show. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah, it's 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 so difficult. It's like almost like the social media of television shows where you're mm. like they've almost they've mastered how to yeah keep your attention. You just yeah. can't look. How away. do you manage to make sure you, their opinions don't become your opinions? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, um, I do think that cracking on is uh, pretty important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good, and maintain good, good chat. Banter good in your chat. Life. Yeah, good chat. Banter. Yeah. Good, good chat. Banter. Yeah. Good band. Good band. Do you think fit. she's proper, proper fit? fit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna go to your girlfriend? Like you're proper you're fit. Proper fit, Ellie. Yeah. Do you, you guys watch it together? Yeah. 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 That's, yeah, yeah, that's good. Well, yeah. I don't really watch TV except with her. Oh. TV really. That's very sweet. Yeah. And what do you like now that you're watching more TV, other than Love Island? Um. Well, she only really watches reality TV, so that's really all I watch. Selling Sunset, do you watch? <gasps> yeah, she's Selling just got into Selling Sunset. Oh. So we're big fans. Really good show. Huge, really, good really good show. show. What are what episode are you on now? We're in the first season. So okay. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's like, really. You're you're just getting into it. Oh, it, really? it oh, it's about to kick off. So much has happened. So much. Wow. Chriselle is. I guess this isn't a spoiler because like, it it is like in her life right now like it's on the news oh yeah Chriselle is dating a non-binary um australian drummer whoa singer songwriter as yeah well. a singer songwriter called g flip g flip whoa. whose full name is georgia flippo in real life <laughs> yeah. yeah whoa georgia flippo sounds like if you like held a gun to my head and was like what's g flip's name i'd be like oh georgia uh, yeah flippo <laughs> And that is legit their name. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You're you're in for a ride. I cannot wait oh, for you to watch so more good. Selling Sunset. And I'm they do a they well. do a reunion episode at the, right at the end of season five, which is spectacular. Yeah. Oh, it's goodness. Oh, it's great. I watched, I've watched best, it twice. Dude, the reunion episodes are yes. it's so good. Why do you think they're better than like the other content? Why is it better? It's it's almost because like you see their you see them have a different perspective on it because when it's happening. Mm. you see one thing and then later you see how they feel about it yeah and i see because it can change sometimes what was that one on netflix that was like love, love is, is blind? blind love is blind yeah, yeah, yeah obviously of course but love is blind you see the reunion and it's like this guy all of a sudden is hated by everyone yeah every single you know that what you I also that guy. you also feel Barnett, like you're, is it no i think it's no, the, the uh, shake was, yeah shake, shake, yeah the guy yeah, yeah. and they like he was kind of friends with them the rest of the show yeah they like worked out together. They seem friendly. They, they seem friendly. About, like, and then, and then by, then by the everyone. episode, everyone's like, shut the, f shut up, Jake. Yeah. They're like, like, whoa. whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying how it I'm is. saying what everyone's thinking. They're <laughs> yeah. like, no one's yeah, thinking no one the same that. thing as you. That's the biggest red flag when someone's like, I'm just saying what everyone's thinking. You can almost guarantee that no one ever thought the thing that they just said. Yes. Oh, yeah. You can always guarantee that because <laughs> yeah. it's me and they're yeah. cruel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you don't need to say that if people agree. Mm. Right. People actually think <laughs> that yeah, 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 yeah. I think that. You wouldn't have to say everyone. Right. After they say that, you wouldn't go, yeah, everyone thinks that. You're like, right. We just agreed. 
<laughs> the thing that's also great about those reunion episodes is that you feel a little bit involved because you've reacted to the show and talked about it with your friends and now they're like talking about like what the, the same... consensus is yeah yeah and it's audience. also kind of what you did with your friends about yes. the show and they're yeah, doing yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. as cast members yeah it feels like you're having a conversation with them yeah it does it feels that's like they're awesome. your friends yeah yeah Speaking of conversation, there's a little conversation our listeners and our viewers have with us. I think it's the time we should get into it's our an listener ad. submissions. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not. We don't have ads yet, but it would be funny if we just went right into an ad. That seems really <laughs> like an ad. Yeah. Speaking of which, we have a conversation to have about Manscaped. <laughs> yep. I love the, the ads for Manscaped when they're like, when they're like, doesn't it get hot sometimes in the summer? John, yeah, I couldn't agree more, Steve. That's why we all need Manscaped. And you could tell it's a product neither of them actually use. Right. Yeah. They're just stretching for reasons Harry's they would balls use in the it. Game, all of them. <laughs> yeah. Never been trimmed. Okay. Uncut. <laughs> Uncut and untrimmed. Director's cut. <laughs> it's a jungle down there. Yeah. All right. So sometimes okay. our, our listeners will write in. Sometimes they ask for advice. Sometimes they just want to talk. Okay. Hmm. Um, Here's an interesting. Is it live? Do they do it live or do they? No, do no, no, no. We okay. we have like a Google form and they submit stuff. Oh, fun. That's These cool. are from a while ago. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hit it. Every theater department has a sex couch. Discuss. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. That's true. And I didn't do theater in college. Did you do theater in college? I uh, no, not no. really. Okay. Just in high school. Did you do in high school? Um. Yeah, you had to at our high school. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, and uh, there was a, yeah, that's true. There's Damn. Room. Did you have sex on the sex couch? The, no, but that's where I got deprooted. That was a, or, or, you remember that when people were deprooted? Like the first time they made out with someone, like they were deprooted. Well, I it wasn't that term. Or... Yeah, I never called it that. Really? No. Yeah, no, I never called it deprooted. This is like the, the Kessler <laughs> all, all over again. Maybe this is just a Philly locals term. It, maybe it is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe it is. So. Like I got deprooted in the sex room. Whoa! It was like a stairway for us, and people would have sex on the stairway. Yeah, that but happened. There was no. There's else. like three but positions you can ultimately do on a stairway, but they find a them. way. You want to detail them? Um, you can take up a number of positions. You can take up libertarianism. <laughs> um, pro life. Pro life <laughs> and missionary. <laughs> <laughs> That's the third one. Yep. <laughs> oh, so your great. college didn't have a sex couch um the, oh, why limit to one uh so there were multiple oh yeah there was um i'm trying to think i can't think of like a sex couch because there was like a fairly big theater department there wasn't just like one area but no there was um there was a <laughs> there is a venue at northwestern called shanley pavilion mm -hmm. where i am aware multiple people had sex in shanley pavilion they were like wait lucas you haven't i was like no, I just rehearse there and then I go. And then I like You were a I was like you there need are to better be deep places to have sex. Excuse Much more me. private. I just need to study. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys could get out of my way with your thrusting and your licking. <laughs> I'm just trying to <laughs> With your licking. They're like Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with your Vigorous licking. Could you please get out of my way? <laughs> Me and Mary Eliza are just trying to rehearse our scene. Get out of our way. Mary You're Lynn. also commenting on it. You're like, hey, I don't think there should be that much licking. There should be more sex. Mary Ellen, I just want to do our scene together and get out of here. Also, wow, you're licking a lot. <laughs> and I would lick less if I were you. If I were in your shoes. And I'm not saying it's not a hard position to be in. But oh, if I were. You're going to lick yourself dry. <laughs> You're going to get a dry mouth. <laughs> oh, but there God. was a place. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a couch. A couch that does seem, I think that's untrue. I do. I would disagree with that. Mm. I guess there's an iteration of a sex couch in every, uh, in yeah, every yeah, place. Yeah. Oh yeah. At my summer it camp, there was a couch. like Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Different form every time. One time it's a building on campus. One time it's just a couch. Sometimes it's just a stairway. It's the just next like... time it's a gay black guy for the first time. Oh, yay. Yeah. Yes. He's yeah. great. He was oh, on sex I education. Loved, I love that he, guy. He was the best in sex education. It's yes. so good. Really so good. funny. Yeah. yeah so funny. I still got to watch season three. <gasps> it's so good. What? It's so of good. Sex it, it is kind of crazy. It almost gets better every season. It really does. Wow. It's such a good show. It's kind of crazy. I cannot wait for season four. What a cliffhanger. I, I know. I, I won't. I won't spoil it, but there is yeah. a cliffhanger yeah, at the end of season I, three. Yeah, don't spoil. It. I bet I'm gonna like binge it tonight. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Thrilled. So good. All right. Well, I we should get on with a another listener submission. There's a three parter. I don't know if I. Said wait, wait, Gabby. You, you did you take theater in high school? I well, I went to a theater high school. I don't think I was cool enough to know where the sex couch was, if there was one. Mm. Bam. Yeah, it's a bummer. There was a place above the main theater that was like the tech booth. Yeah, that's. And wh- people had sex oh, there. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, that's where. Our, yeah, that's where ours was. That's I don't think a, it's a yeah. couch, but I do think there is a room that. Yes. There was nowhere to like sit. So I actually don't know how anyone had sex in that room. Mm. I guess on the floor. I guess man. kids are gross. In yeah. high school, you'll kind of do it. Yeah, yeah you'll kind of do anything. Yeah. That's you true. make do. You make, you make do. do. Yeah, <laughs> make do. children. Yeah, always make do. Yeah, always when you're making do. And use reject condoms. modernity. And embrace use tradition. Oh my God, use condom. <laughs> oh please, yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, use two if you need. Yeah. <laughs> The more, <laughs> the more the merrier. The better. <laughs> yeah. The more the merrier. Put it over yeah, your whole body, they, both of you. Yeah. That's what they say. It makes this like feel better. Like in the Naked Gun. Did you see that movie? <laughs> the Naked Where they both gun? wear like full body condoms. Oh, yes. And then yeah, they, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. And they hug. Okay. Um. All right. So this is a, a three-parter. All right. So, hi, Gabby and Lucas. Thanks so much for the amazing podcast. I feel like I'm listening to two friends. Blah, blah. Okay. So, I'm hoping you can help. What? You just treat them like that? Yes. They're <laughs> nothing. I love it. I feel like I'm listening to two friends, and it makes me feel less lonely. Boo. Wow, and you went for that? Yeah, I can't believe you, Lucas. That's really That's fucked such up. A nice Thank you, listener. Sentiment. Thank you, loyal and kind Sorry, listener. Sorry, I care more about plot. So you, sh- um, you should feel less lonely. Yeah. Yeah, well, now they're like, I actually feel weird because yeah. Lucas just did that to me. I hate sincerity. <laughs> I know. Yeah, he's I not know. very earnest, this guy. No. Well, earnestness is it's tough. <laughs> it's cringe it's, it's, it's so cringe <laughs> okay it's definitely cringe i'm hoping you can help with a piece of advice i'm a 16 year old guy in high school just outside of new york city and have a crush on a girl let's call her linda and then <laughs> <laughs> let's Why? call her 50 Sick years name. old yeah. let's call her he then, <laughs> let's call her divorced <laughs> let's call her librarian linda <laughs> let's call her a mom of two yeah and let's call her and she thinks Trump had some merits. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't like him as much as her husband likes him, but hey, he has some merits. Let's say that she just appreciated him for being real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, he told it like it was. Yeah. At least he said what, what he thought. What everyone was yeah. thinking. Let's <laughs> just call her saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's That's call her Linda. Her. Yeah. <laughs> Linda and I have known each other since second grade and have always been good friends, but I've always had, but I've kind of always had a thing for her. However, I've never wanted to ruin our friendship by Fuck. saying anything yeah. to oh, man. I've Brutal. never wanted by saying anything to her that could hurt it. We have this weird inside joke about cans of beans being the best food that I honestly can't remember where it stems from, but we joke about it frequently and have it when work it into any conversation we have. Uh, Linda really recently turned 16 and I helped throw a really big birthday party for her at our roller skating rink. Very cute. Okay. Uh, it was a lot of fun and she kept being handsy with me all night. Unfortunately, I got cold feet and even though she may have wanted me to make a move, I just kind of got scared and we parted ways at the end of the night. But I decided I wanted her to do something cool for her that would seem like a big gesture. Linda had gotten a car a couple days before from her parents for her birthday and I thought Whoa, it could be is... really fun to yeah. fill up her car with cans of beans <laughs> before school the next day. I had our friend Devin pick Linda up and drive with her to school so that I could have time to be alone with Linda's car. (laughs) I pulled up to Linda's house with about 50 cans of beans that I had picked up. Uh, that I had picked up from the store the night before. Wow, I God. got in and noticed Linda's, uh, Linda's keys were still in the cup holder. I turned it on, and it took a few tries for the car to start, but once it did, it immediately started idling really roughly. I figured her spark plugs might be bad, so I opened up the hood to remove oh, no. them to check. Oh, no. Oh, no. After removing the upper intake plenum plenum oh he oh i was having trouble removing the inside metal terminal and realized i damaged the rubber boot and tore the wire terminal away from the plug wire end since i wasn't using a proper set of spark plug wire pliers how does first period st- many- he knows a lot <laughs> yeah that's a lot uh he first broke the car <laughs> first period yeah, starts in about 20 minutes so i'm scrambling to figure this out do you have any ideas on how i can quickly fix this spark plug <laughs> so linda doesn't get mad at me Thanks, Linda's worried secret lover. That's a great. That's great. This he, submission wow. was probably hey. sent like two weeks ago, so we are so late on this. This has already he been. Knew, he knew. He knew. Right? 
Oh he yeah, had he to know. This is a great bit. This is really <laughs> good bit. I will say that's this a person should great start bit. doing stand up yes, now. Yes, that's because this is bit. an amazing story. Really good misdirect. He had a lot of details. I'm like, yeah. is this true? I don't think it's true. Not a bad storyteller. <laughs> no, not a bad storyteller no, at all. Yeah. Interesting, like setup. I was, I was like, what? And then what happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. Really good. You could do. Yeah, you could probably do comedy. Yeah. Honest. That's our advice. Yeah, do comedy and the car will be fixed. Yeah, and the car I think will. I think it would be this. I, I don't know how Linda would take it, but I think it would be funny if this dude was just like, "Listen, I'm in love with you. I got you these cans of beans. I broke your car in the process. Want to go out?" Looks like. Yeah, <laughs> just like go like, for this broken to so be so confusing. honest. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're right. The story has a lot of like dualities. It's like yeah. I'm in love with you and I broke your car. Here is a lot of beans. I don't know why I have so many beans, but here they are. You know, yeah. and like, I want to date you, but I'm also a little scared of you. Yeah. It, there's a lot to it. It's complex. Is, you think this is true? I think I, I think it I is think true. I think at the end it kind of stops being true because no way cars are that complicated. Hmm. Well, what I also want to know is right. why did he start? I don't, I don't actually remember why he started right. going under the hood. I thought the point was to just, the cars were inside so he got the car but he couldn't put the all he beans had to do is plug it in well he didn't even have to he didn't have to start the car at all no just like put just all put the, beans the beans in, in. yeah then or sure, just leave it. a shit ton of beans on top of the car there are a million ways to uh, to yeah. attach the beans to the car 100%. i think he thought of the, the car thing at the end as a as a he was like writing into us genuinely and then he was like what if i fucked around and said this car story yeah, yeah. as well yeah this person may be just trying to be extra outrageous for the pod yeah maybe Sir, we appreciate you, and uh, keep going. Um, and hopefully, yeah. Linda keep being outrageous. Yeah. Hopefully, Linda's not so mad. Keep shining. Keep yeah. shining, kid. <laughs> Stay gold, pony boy. Stay gold. Okay, um, meerkats. I need your help. I submitted the beginning background of the story a while back, but I have some updates on a situation. It's, a, it's an update on the beans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the beans all spilled out of the cans. Yeah. And now the car is filled with them. <laughs> Everywhere I go, the car is dripping beans. <laughs> the help. car is now a deteriorating burrito bowl, technically. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Uh, so I was dating this guy. It's amazing. He is a kind, awesome, supportive, great person and makes me happy. But then I decided to, I needed to break up with him. Now, I'm not even sure why I did this. It seems so stupid to me now. I'm still in love with him, but obviously he doesn't want to talk to me. I broke his heart and I feel really bad about this whole situation oh, and how no. I have treated him. I know the typical advice is to never get back with your ex, but I really want to. Even if I decided I should, how would I go about this? Also, my friends hate this guy for no reason, and it makes me very mad. Please help, and I love your podcast. Wow. Wow. That's interesting. Whew, what do you think? That's an interesting one. Mm. I have well, one thing I will say is that reach out to him in a way that he is not, that you acknowledge he is under no obligation to respond. Because you broke up with him, all right? You broke his heart. Yeah. And so give him every opportunity to not respond and if he says no i want to try again with you then assalamu alaikum you know go with it but yeah. but otherwise like this is this is a tough one yeah yeah that's what a, do you think that's difficult well it, it seemed unclear to me but had she expressed that to him already uh, let me look back in the submission it wasn't super clear um, like that she wants to get back. Oh, it's yeah. It seems like I'm still so in love with him, but he doesn't want to talk to me. So it's uh, not clear if she reached out okay. and he was like, mm. "I don't want to talk." Well, then, well, I, then well, what you said is what, yeah, yeah. What you said makes sense to me. Yeah, is that yeah? Well, yeah. if he doesn't want to talk, that's it. Like you can vocalize your feelings, and then you can you'll never ask yourself what if, or like you'll live life without regrets. And I think I think ultimately that's the right thing to do is yeah. to try to be yeah. as honest and forthright as possible. But if he doesn't want to talk, you got to you got to respect that. Well, and the friends thing is always interesting. I want right? to know why that's, the friends don't like him. That's always a question I have, because in this scenario, it's one of two things and neither mm -hmm. of them are good for her. Yeah. But it's always either you have the wrong friends and because he's a healthy partner, they're like they they just want more drama or they want like they want. I don't know. They just like some friendships are toxic in a way that they will give you advice that's very bad mm. and wrong for you um so it could be the friends are bad friends or it could be this guy is definitely but if they're good friends then the guy's definitely not your friends are right usually yeah. if yeah. you have good friends and they are judging your relationship from an outside perspective in my experience they're usually 
quite accurate. If that's like absolutely really, right. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's tough. This girl's in a bind. But just ask yourself, like, are, are you? Do you think your friends are like really have your best interest at heart, and do you really yeah. trust them with your life? I don't know because I've had both kinds. But if you ask yourself that question honestly, and yeah. then give yourself the honest answer, and if it is, yeah, they're just my friends that's and they're looking out for answer. me, then they're gonna know. Yeah, they'll definitely know. That's very. It's also why did yeah. you want to break? Like, why did you suddenly want to break? Yeah, up? I I want to know. Like, yeah, there's a lot of details about this that would be very helpful to know. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if we should start asking for more details in the form. I don't think we're gonna get them. Well, but. here's oh, yeah. <laughs> well, here's another question: Is that if she may? Let's say just for the sake of argument that she's like afraid of commitment. Let's mm -hmm. just say that she like she it was a good guy, but she just wasn't ready to get into a relationship, right. and so she broke it off. And now she's like, oh, this is actually a really good guy. Right. Are is this person even ready for a relationship? Has this person done work on themselves to like heal whatever is like made with them? break how do you know you're not going to break up again yeah that's the thing how do you know you're not going to repeat the same pattern yeah exactly. so that's i think that's uh, think about like why you broke up in the first place and <laughs> ask yourself is this yeah. going to happen again yeah, it was yeah you're right because it was weird that she was just like i don't really know why yeah, yeah. <laughs> broke up. well on some level you must know why if you yeah. do that if you're like he was perfect but i ended it yeah and i don't know why like clearly something is that was a hell something. of an intro, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something is not right. Something is not right. And uh, and you have to ask yourself, you have to figure out what it is. Yeah. Mm. Why did you feel the need to break up with him? Is it he's right for you and your friends are just not, they're not great friends? That's entirely possible. It's also mm. entirely possible they definitely saw something in him that was bad and you definitely should break up with him and not get back together. Mm. Yeah. And maybe your friends pushed you to do it and you didn't realize it at the time, but they were right. It could be either they were right or like you just weren't really like yeah mm. or 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 they're wrong <laughs> <laughs> in general just one of two general, things yep. right everyone's or right or everyone's wrong everyone's right or everyone's wrong either you like either they forced you into it like to break up with him yeah yeah or they accurately read the situation mm. and then you broke up for a good reason it could also be like right guy wrong time thing like maybe mm. she was like i need to pursue something else right now or like yeah. mm. pursue like focus on myself and maybe maybe her That's friends very... don't hate the guy maybe they hate what the guy represents in her life mm. like what <laughs> like a time away from like the, her hobbies like the afghanistan Me war or something <laughs> like what does he represent <laughs> He's military. He's an allegory <laughs> of a person. He's an allegory. He, he they, they love each other, <laughs> he's but he's allegory. a soldier. <laughs> he's an allegory for like the military the industrial complex. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, exactly. Ha ever heard of Halliburton? <laughs> <laughs> he represents Halliburton. He's Halliburton. You have to. You can't date him. He was amazing and sweet. I don't know why I broke up with him other than that his family owned this huge gun conglomerate. That was <laughs> really weird. Other he than... was brought into the narrative to represent Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why well, I was brought into this my podcast. My friends hate him. I don't know why. His name's Rob Sackler. He's one of the <laughs> one of the Sackler. I don't know. My friends are really against me dating him just because oh, he engineered God. the opioid epidemic. Oh. Oh my god yeah oh, wow. well that makes him inventive i think in a way i mean it's not what a good, positive spin but, uh, you yeah. have to ask yourself mm. is the opioid epidemic something you're actually against <laughs> <laughs> or, or are you just a toxic friend <laughs> <laughs> are the drugs toxic or are you or are you yeah, yeah. or was the epidemic so. the friends we made along the way oh <laughs> beautiful i think that brings us very nicely into our final segment which is called self-perception corner where we ask yeah. our guests to describe the way in which they believe they are perceived by other people and then we say how we actually perceive you how you perceive me or how other first say well how we you wouldn't know how other people perceive no. you we but... want we want to ask you how you think that would be crazy if yeah. you brought in <laughs> well we tallied a survey of yeah, thousands yeah, yeah. of people that have met you in the, the parisian of your couple life. The yeah parisian we got couple. those in and they're here tonight yeah we like show you a compilation <laughs> video <laughs> like here's everyone with their honest opinion they're like yeah jamie's fine i met it once or twice <laughs> it's all acquaintances it's always like clear that you just found them somehow on the street though. yeah fine yeah. what 
They're like, who's Jamie Wolf? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy in my Spanish class. Yeah, he's yeah. funny. <laughs> he was great. Yeah, yeah, Como yeah. se dice? Yeah. Your old roommates, <laughs> they're married. Oh, yeah, they're married now. <laughs> yeah, they're married now. Do you know they're if they actually together. like stayed together? Oh. They, whoa. Yeah. And they're like out now? That's fucked up. It's fucked. It's oh. fucked. But then how do you know they're still together? Because they still post pictures as best friends. And I doubt, I guess maybe it's possible that they broke up sexually but remained best friends. But that just seems unlikely. It doesn't Mm. seem quite right. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're probably just in love. That's really nice. It's really nice. They they post pictures of vacations and stuff. Oh, good. (laughs) So we have them here tonight. Yes. (laughs) Anyway, (laughs) come on out, guys. Come on out. Welcome to their debut. Yes. Um, but yes, please. How do you believe other people perceive you? Other people perceive me? Yes. I think how do it's you believe? very different depending on the person. Yeah. Well, let's, let's talk about it. Um, well, there's people like, because especially in comedy, mm-hmm. it's annoying. Yeah. But like the difference is some people saw me the first year I was doing comedy. So they're like, he's just an open micer. He, he sucks at comedy. And then other people like you don't book, so they're like, he's just, he's a dick. Like he's like a dick because he didn't like. I, I I asked him to get on a show and like he like pretended like it was full or and it like you know it really was full or whatever. Mm. But like it it depends based on who it is. I think you guys, it's like we've been friends for like three years. Yeah. Mm. I think you see me as like a nice guy. That you know. I think we all. We're friends. We respect each other's, each other's comedy. Mm. We all see each other as like nice people. And oh, Lucas is looking. No, away. no, 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 no. I'm just. I'm, this is this is a good. Yeah. Can I tell you? Lucas I'm trying see that not. Way. To, I'm not trying to have like a facial reaction because I don't want to influence what you're saying. He's trying to give me the poker speaking. face, whereas <laughs> yes. my face is so naturally accommodating. I don't even yeah, need yeah, to yeah, try. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, you just yeah. have a poker face. Right? I just do. Yeah. Your poker, like, oh, save, your poker save. Your poker save. Your poker save. With me. Your poker face poker. is just positivity. I don't even <laughs> yeah. know her. Yeah, it's positivity. Well, yeah. I mean, I hope that that's. I hope you see me as a positive person in the scene. Mm-hmm. I hope. I mean. Yeah. People. There's so Final many answer. Negative no. people. What about like your family but and like hope, really close know. friends? Like, what do you think? Yeah. Um. What do I? Th- how do I think? Of I don't know how my family sees me. To be honest, I know I have a better read on my friends. Okay. I think they see me very accurately in terms of like s- super pessimistic, hmm. very uh, like addict mind. Okay. Like a lot of demons. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Photoshop uh, horns on you later. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. It's not a Jew thing. Yeah. But also like likes to make fun it of it. It is if you wanted to. Be. Likes to make yeah. fun of it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally be about you too. <laughs> yeah. we could be anti-semitic here that's yeah, no can. problem we yeah. actually can we have fun here <laughs> we yeah. actually we have the ability that's the beauty of being a jew well to me that's like the the best part of any identity as a person is like i can make fun of white guys mm. yes. as a white guy mm-hmm. yes as sorry as not as a person as a comic that's my favorite part mm. like yeah. i have license it yes. doesn't because like i know that when white guys like get made fun of by like female comedians mm. or like black comedians mm-hmm. they they get like a little defensive and i know that because that happens to me yeah <laughs> but yeah. when it's a white guy you're like fuck he's just like he's just saying that because he knows it and it might be that those other people also know it but it's it's less <laughs> like Bless it's you. more palatable when it's a white dude mm-hmm. same with like making jew jokes if you're jewish yeah people can accept the joke a lot better yeah. right yeah. i mean yeah, not yeah, always yeah. but it's yeah. still it's like that yeah. to me that's the point is like i can make fun of groups that you have to believe like you have to like take my point of view as valid because it's also like you make fun of like you know Chappelle, like make mm. fun of transgender people and you're like but why are you yeah no why are you really the authority yeah what yeah. you think about yeah it. i mean i guess some people do which is crazy but it's like all right right yeah. Like, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah fine you can whatever. before we say it, are, what we what we think about it, do you are you ever afraid that someone is going to base the, all of their opinions on you as a comedian like let's say you become like as big as like as like let's say you like become Dave, so famous so famous are Tomorrow. you are you ever afraid that someone is going to take you too seriously and just like base every all of their opinions on your material yeah that is yeah that is a worry it's yeah. weird 
That's weird. I definitely don't want that. Ever. I know it's a very different thing. Yeah. than who you actually are. But that's live comedy. Not you People specifically. Have to, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. You're right, Lucas. Though. You are a character up there. You are not yourself. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think it's just a different. My mom isn't black. My dad's alive. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're the Rachel yeah. Dolls all of your yeah. dad being dead. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, could you cut that? That's yeah. my dad. Yeah. My dad's name is Jamie. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna bleep that yeah. out. <laughs> um, no. Jamie, I'm like I said, I'm obsessed with you. Like I think you're hilarious. And what I like especially about like your material and the reason I feel like it's like so thoughtful is like I feel like you actually don't have that strong of opinions and you're like yeah. more about exploring like why something might be or like why yeah. other people might spend so much time fixating on a thing or like yeah. and that's what I think allows you to like do political material because I think a lot of people can't because they have too strong of opinions about mm. it. Yeah. Whereas you I feel like when you when you tell jokes it's more of like hey you ever like it's like so purely observational that I think, and which is not to say you don't have a perspective, but it's also very like gentle, I think, in a way. And I think that's what I always liked about you. And um, I also, I mean, like we've been friends, but I noticed like during the course of this conversation, like what I like a lot about you is you're like a silly dude. Yeah. Which I yeah. relate to a lot because yeah. I'm very goofy. Yeah. Like I feel like we can have a lot of fun just like, there's some comics, they get off stage, they're actually kind of serious. You're like, but you mm. were just, well, okay. <laughs> like yeah. weird. Yeah, it's like, I don't want to, the whole thing is like, we're doing comedy to have fun. I don't want to then have to go to a party and try and like fit in I'm, like I'm at yeah. a work event. Mm, like yeah. I want to do bits with my friends. So oh, I appreciate yeah. that about you. Yeah, that's yeah. like, that's why we do it. That's yeah, of course. Part. If you're not having fun, you don't even like it. What's the point? Right. I don't get it. I don't get it myself. Uh, yeah. People have like ideas about it where they're like, I want to be the next Chappelle. Mm. you cannot do anything in bad faith like that though because it's like yeah. you cannot do something with the intent of something happening it will never happen yeah, yeah. that's literally the i it's so broad but it's also so true <laughs> the statement you just made yeah. you can never do anything with My the specialty. intention of something happening yeah because it will never oh. happen it's like so hard to but that's so true. It applies to any situation. Any situation. Yeah. Literally any situation. Even mm. like you, if you eat something, like it could taste good or you could throw it up. Risk is inherent in life. Yeah. I that's what I think, about, I think about you. You're a risky guy. That's what I think about you. <laughs> yeah. You, you that's are my perception. a risk factor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're a wild card, Jamie Wolf. That's what I always think. A yeah. wild, a wild child. <laughs> <laughs> that I am. That's very true. That's so very I appreciate true. that, though. That's very kind of you to say. The yeah. way I perceive so kind. something that is very, very endearing about you and a very attractive quality about you as a comedian is that when you're describing like an opinion you have, or if it's a take on something, it's never from. I hate. It's exactly what you said. You know, you have to have fun on stage, and that gives the audience license to have fun on stage. I have never once seen you speak from a place of anger or bitterness in the way that some people often do, or if, or if sometimes you'll feel have people like make jokes of like not being included or like having that sort of like a nasty quality. I've never sensed like a nasty quality from you. It's always been very accepting, very jovial, and you. Yeah. You're also always so quick to laugh and enjoy the moment and enjoy spontaneity and that you're such a fan of comedy and you're such a fan of what other people do. It's yeah. a it's a very it's a very genuine welcoming vibe that you have. It's a very it's positive and spurring on. It's just it's always moving stuff forward. It's it's a very it's always fun being around you. That's so That's kind. What yeah. Can I say that th something about you guys? No. Only if you yeah. want. If you no. it's yeah. not required. You yeah, you, you you don't have to. We no, we never ask guests to say any, it's pure. Yeah. Unless unless we're, we're trying here to for you. Unless we're trying to really ruffle feathers, then we're like, come on, say something about us. But yeah. like, it's actually not required. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you really think? Oh. Mm. Really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah <you're, laughs> I'm like you haven't crossed your arms once. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you turning? What? Doing what? <laughs> what do you really think of us? Come on, Jamie. Time to tell the truth. No, well, um, I like both of you from the beginning. And it's because I feel this really genuine love of, of what comedy is. And I guess what I believe it to be also. Because some people, like, they, they love a different thing. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I think both of you, like, well, one, you're both funny. Thank you. Thank you. 
<laughs> which is <laughs> that's not everyone that's not everyone in comedy. Yeah. that's true yeah <laughs> it's a good point so just off the bat it's like I, I liked you for that reason i yeah. think it's kind of weird to say in comedy but the first thing you judge people off of is are they funny or not so i liked you off the bat because i was mm. like thank god they're both funny and it's funny you can even tell like in the beginning because you're not great stand-ups right when you start mm -hmm. but you can still tell you're like no but they have funny ideas and yes. like maybe they don't mm. really go with them but yeah. i can see that they're funny and i think you met i don't know if this is true for lucas but i feel like you met me when i was like first starting out yeah so i appreciate that you like have seen me like grow as a comic and haven't judged you you know you're not like oh she's some open micer because we met in the first year you know mm. yeah like, I, I appreciate know. that because I've always felt that about myself I've never felt like I was the funniest person in the room but I was always like if I work hard I can be funny mm. you know and that's the truth of it is like no like that is what being a comic is is like a lot of work I know. Yeah. It is a lot <laughs> yeah of work. It's a lot of work yeah. that you got to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But most people don't recognize that. So I mean that well that's probably something I respect about both of you is the work. Oh, thank you, man. Just the dedication. Like I love more than anything like people that are actually doing it. Like tr really really trying as you were saying. Yeah. Like they're really trying. They're Absolutely. not doing it for another reason. They just it's very clear that you both like just love comedy. And, and, and that's you love another... laughing and you love making people laugh and having fun and Yeah. And that's and another being silly, thing. It's, yeah. That's another thing I meant to say that I forgot is is that it's very inspiring to see how driven you are. You are incredibly driven as a comedian, and yeah. that you're always trying to like move up and keep doing more. And it's 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 very inspiring because it's like, oh yeah, I want to do that too. It's like a reminder of like what, not even necessarily the same moves, but just trying to do yeah. and improve upon yourself. And yeah, what you've done. in your own way. Yeah, yeah. I remember just like a post you made about like turning 25 and sort of saying you know these are the goals i thought i would reach by 25 but i also need to look at what i've achieved thus far and be proud of that and i was yeah. like fuck yes it was yeah. just it was so it was so healthy it was such a healthy look at what you've done and where you want to go i was like that was just beautiful yeah that specific post was weird because of some people interpreted it the way you interpreted it correctly yeah. <laughs> other, yeah. other people were like dude that post is really sad God. And I said in the post, I'm like, it's crazy, but I didn't achieve any of my goals, but I'm literally happier than I could have possibly imagined with my life, which is like so much more important. Mm. But they just glossed over that and they were like, it sucks. You didn't do Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it does really suck, huh? You must yeah. be sad. I was like, no, no. But uh, yeah. Yeah. It's not about the destination. If no. you, if you do with, what is it? What is it? I said to me. It's about ago? Halliburton. It's all, it's always about Halliburton. Yeah. exactly. It, if you do a thing with an expectation in mind, like it's probably not going to meet that expectation. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's yeah. yeah. Well, I, th I think you said if you do a thing, uh, wanting to, with then the, don't do it. With the, you know, <laughs> if you do a thing, don't do it. With If you want to get something out of doing a thing, you'll never get the thing out of the thing you do. Mm-hmm. Mm yeah roughly but yeah. <laughs> very eloquent <laughs> yeah. speaking yeah. of things do you have anything you would like to plug and promote socials shows anything oh, going on in jamie yeah. wolf's life yeah well um fuck there there is something i'm forgetting right now but uh follow me on instagram mm -hmm. i'll post clips there subscribe to my youtube i post clips there that are like better quality what do people look up on youtube jamie wolf comedy all nice. everywhere at jamie wolf comedy perfect um and then join my email list if you want to see me live it's hell yeah yeah it's so i haven't joined your email list maybe i'll join i mean yeah. i also like know you i could just see you yeah <laughs> yeah, you, yeah you shouldn't join okay i won't i bad mouth you i talk <gasps> oh, a lot that's such a of bummer smell. yeah oh. <laughs> i do emails about every podcast i'm on with reviews of the hosts <laughs> Whatever the rudest comment is you can think of, you just, you, yeah. Let's just say they were a bunch of, no, not going to say it. Not going to say it. Caselers. They were a bunch of caselers. A lot of caselers. A lot of caselers. Um, <laughs> no, but I, I love, uh, I just love the, it reminds me to love comedy, mm. how much you guys love comedy. Oh, yeah. I love that so much. I really like, the there's also people who are like, it's a grind. It's a, but at the end of the day, you are just telling little jokey jokes on a stage. Yeah, it's, it's so nice. It's so fun. I know. And it's what you're saying. There's a balance of like, it is work. Like you have to approach it like work mm. sometimes, but you also can't forget that it's supposed to be fun at the end of the day. Absolutely. Like the, an example of that is like every time, sometimes I write a joke and I think it's like, 
and then it doesn't work and i'm like why didn't it work and the reason is like oh i never thought it was funny why would it mm. why would other people think that's funny interesting you know what i mean yes. it has to be about fun at the end of the day Absolutely. it has to be about stuff that makes you laugh right yeah. yeah otherwise there's no way to do it that was that was the because th- i started doing material a uh, sort of around the subject of my dad's death yeah but it was only when i started finding stuff around it funny like things that like friends of my dad started like emailing me to share and i was like why are you that sending me this story thing is it's crazy yeah yeah there's a lot of weird shit and but then i started finding it funny and i was like oh i'm ready to start doing at least material about this exactly yeah exactly yeah because yeah yeah, 100%. yeah. 100%. it's when it's when you find something funny and trying to articulate it as best as possible exactly it's so simple when you think about it yeah i always overcomplicate it it's not about like writing the best joke it's literally what you just said yeah it's what do you think is funny and then describe it in the best possible way yeah and, yeah. But that, but that's also like a necessary process to like go through. Is like, is like, you know, trying it out on stage. You add stuff in. You take stuff out. You also yeah. discover stuff on stage that you didn't even think of. So yeah. like, yeah. I don't, I don't beat myself because I'm definitely too wordy when I initially write something. Same. But I don't, Same. I don't beat I myself. Think everyone is. Yeah. Everyone is. You, you have to be because the funny idea will never. For me, it's like the funny idea is never what I think it's going to be. Yeah. So like, I'll say the bit mm, and then I'm like, yeah. oh, you like this part? I guess that's my punchline. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly yeah. it's so yeah. fun that's why i do is trying to new that's so exciting yeah. yes it's literally never the thing you think is <laughs> no, it yeah, never it. is Ever. it's amazing yeah. yeah i love it yeah yeah um gabby Luke do is... you have anything oh well oh. i whoa. 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 wow what's going on whoa 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 no you <laughs> <laughs> no you. um I, one thing i i will have to plug there might be other there's one show that like oh, that we were both on that may be happening sometime soon, but we haven't like figured out a new venue. But hey. my sketch group on uh, May 28th, 24 Hour Kiss Club, we are up at Asylum NYC. Tickets are live. Oh, you can, sweet. You can go to my uh, website, lucastarnold.com forward slash live, and you will be able to have all the ticket links. They're all there. Um, uh, um, I got a couple bar shows. Follow me at Hip Soccer Mom. Oh, and uh, the next Anne Hathaway show is going to be <gasps> May 29th at QED. Hell yeah. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, fun. I love QED. QED is an awesome, awesome venue. venue. Yeah, yeah it's so beautiful. Yes. Yeah, you pack it with like 30 people and it it's seems like a club. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's incredible. 30 people room. in there is yeah. like the best room in the city, maybe. Yeah. It's so good. It's so weird. I don't know why. It feels wrong. It feels like it should be bad. It's yeah. a sin. But it's amazing. Yeah. yeah um, like your old and roommates. Asylum it is, should be bad. <laughs> Bad, but it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Wow. We'll we should a- end on that callback, I feel like. Yeah, that, that was, was good. Masterful. Yeah. Jamie Wolf, thank you so much. You have been an amazing thank guest. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And thank you guys for watching. Alyssa, please keep submitting stuff to our Google form. You go to the uh, link tree on our socials. Uh, we'll repost it America. too. Yeah, we'll repost now it. Now I'll edit it to be like, please add so much detail. It can yes. never be enough As detail. much detail yeah. as, as possible. But concise as well. Yeah. You just um, make it perfect every yeah. time. Just yeah. be, just be better. Just be better. <laughs> um, Hashtag thank you guys. do better, Hashtag and we'll see you next better. time. We'll see you next time.